Hey guys, Link. Hello. Hello. I wish I'd kept the length of my mustache. Hello. I just gone full walrus and just. <laughs> yeah, Yo, chin say, reveal. Where the where the where chin the... reveal? We can see your chin. <laughs> what the fuck? If I ever chin reveal, it better be for fucking money. I went for just a quick just a quick reset, you know, for the summer. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh... Hey guys, what's cracking? Hey. What's good? We're here. What's cracking? So it's D and D time. Uh, it's we're D &D. down a Soko, but. You have Bell back, which is Pog. Which is a, the better exchange. I was going to say, we traded up. And so. uh, I guess Ethan is back as well after missing <laughs> a few sessions. But All right, full metal and, metal you know, if we keep trading up, eventually we'll have Matt Mercer on the show. So <laughs> stay tuned. Just is this going to be upgrade. one of those like TikTok videos of like... I started, I started with a paperclip <laughs> and now I have a yacht, you know? Yeah. yeah we started it. with a Soko. And now we've got Matt Mercer. Oh, wow. <laughs> Could you imagine, dude? Holy Holy and God. then we get a Matt Mercer restraining order afterwards. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> yeah. The full cycle. Yeah, most likely. Uh, but hey, hope he has to see us again another three swell. times. Before. Uh, it is fucking boiling in my room already, so uh, bear with. Um, this uh -huh. past weekend has been super hot. It's better today, but you know, PC player, and you know, it's still. If you need to shorten session a little bit, like if after right. a few hours you're dying, it'll be alright. It'll be alright. Um, but yeah. Uh, everybody, uh, today should be a fun sesh. Uh, before we get going, anyone want to share anything with the class? Bell, welcome back. Ethan, welcome back. Gamers. Bell, welcome One of you is missed. The, the beer and oh. Manson shirt, like a fucking champ. Let's fucking go. Oh, I, it's, I've never seen it. <laughs> no, you haven't. <laughs> no, oh, what a good, poser! No. Just listen to the music, don't see the actual musical or movie, because it's actually fucking atrocious. But the music, Bell, incredible. Belle doesn't like musicals, though. So. <laughs> Who's fucking wearing that shirt? Then? This bitch likes <laughs> opera, doesn't like musicals. That's just yeah. because she's kind of fucked. Buy it. Thank kinda you. fucked. Name a single opera, Ethan. I'm not, I don't give the a fuck. Phantom the Phantom of. Phantom of. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's about not liking musicals. <laughs> Incorrect. <laughs> okay, no, is the Phantom of the Opera an opera or a musical? No, it's not a musical. It's, it's a, musical. a musical. It's a musical. It's a musical. <laughs> that, oh, that's that's the joke. <laughs> oh, technically, it's technically, like he's here in the room with us. Oh, damn. Technically, Hamilton is an opera because the difference between opera and musical is there's no spoken dialogue. Operas are sung from beginning to end. So oh, there's no spoken dialogue in you know Hamilton. What? That is really interesting, Laura, but I don't remember giving. I a actually, fuck. you know what, dude? I'm happy. Okay. I'm happy with that little fact. There you go. Thank you. Are you? Yeah, that was. This is what you wanted from D and D. Is there a difference between well, like musical it. and an opera? So I can add that little little fact to my like library of random use trivia that I have. So whenever the pub quiz comes, and you can talk like, to artsy people and sound culture now. Sure. There you go. Talking mm -hmm. to people? Gross. Yeah, that's pretty fucking disgusting, actually. Holy fuck. Um, yeah. Uh, hope you all have been well. Uh, anything y'all want to uh. share with the class? Any announcements and all that stuff? Before uh, we get yes. If we play again next week, I'll say the same announcement again, but uh, requires much build-up. I, I have been on this platform for far too long, so my nine-year Twitch anniversary is coming up, and we're I'm doing an anniversary stream on the 31st of July, which is not this coming Wednesday, but the Wednesday after. Uh, I'm going to be bringing back a game that used to be a pillar of the channel. James looked it up. It's actually the most played game on my stream, even though we haven't touched it for quite a long time. And there's going to be... Animal Royale. Yeah, no. The aim of the stream is to help me try and um, raise money for two items on my throne wish list that will help me just like with my longevity streaming because of my health issues. So it's mm -hmm. going to be like tip and bit incentivized. And for any like tips or bits used, there'll be things happening like James drops ice cubes down my back. You can up my mouse sensitivity. You can get oh. me to write you a cringy poem, write a tweet I have to put out within reason. Uh, you get your name on a did, balloon did you, on the wall, etc. Was, was it like the spicy maple syrup shit you fucking? Oh yeah, got? that's on there. Yeah, that's do a shot of the Carolina <laughs> Reaper maple syrup. Uh, Wait, what so was the game? Be... Just, just I definitely was totally well, paying I have attention. It, well, I, have, I didn't say it. That's the like. Oh. There's tons of clues and the the I promo know, image makes it I obvious. Know. But yeah, uh, I bet I can guess. You, you probably can. A it's game like, she said she would never play again. Again. I never said I'd never play again. I said when I stopped feeling icky, like if the thought okay, of playing it didn't okay, just make okay, me upset, okay. I would play it again. And did I you finally see the new, now had enough time. Did you see the new support hero? I did, yes. <laughs> Very cool. So yeah. So Bella. Wednesday, July 31st, it's going to be a really long marathon stream. We're going to have people from Level Select hopefully Fuck joining. Fuck it, dude, I'll be there. If West, we're playing so Overwatch, bro, anyone. I'll be there. I'll a Yay, because I, I need people because I don't know how to play the new... Like, I have, I've never played... Me neither. I've never played... 
the current I'll play iteration. It. I don't so. know how to play. You know, I'm, uh, I'm so, down. Yeah, I already said. Uh, on July 31st. Uh, oh, and I'm if we doing. hit the goals, like, so there's, like, incentives for each individual, like, donation that may, may or may not occur during the stream. But if we get those two items I'm fundraising for funded, if we hit the first one, I have to do on stream a try not to laugh challenge, but every time I laugh, I have to do some of the last dab hot sauce. Oh, so, God. and you guys are submitting the things to try and make me laugh. Oh, you're so, fucked. You're so fucked. So start thinking now, start putting together your list of things you oh, want, so you think fucked. that would make me laugh. And we'll see how many Man, times I have to eat crazy hot sauce. We should have made videos of fucking Koi about your wedding. That would have fucking been great to submit for that. That would have, but you didn't. Holy fuck, so. dude. <laughs> oh, if you're gonna have a compilation <laughs> of like, Koi the moments me, at the wedding. Me. Holy fuck! That would have been great. <laughs> would have been great. Would have guaranteed. Oh, it's just the whole game. wedding, but just like me from GoPro angle, just oh, like yeah. Koiba supercut. Koiba <laughs> supercut. <laughs> Dude, a Koiba go like Koiba POV of that wedding would be the most insane <laughs> fucking shit. Holy! Fuck. Like there'd be so many cameos it's just by me. people that it's just we don't me. know who they it's are. Is it just me you know? going to the dance floor, going to the bar, going to the? T and then occasionally yeah. up someone's bar. nose. Maybe. Out with someone. Calling, calling Usually random a women a cunt that you met like half an hour before, <laughs> and then lying, and then lying on the floor of the Airbnb, looking up at the ceiling, going, "Why put me in a recovery position?" <laughs> <laughs> I've, uh, I've achieved a legacy. Let's <laughs> go, <laughs> going, going, going. You stop making those jokes, only to make this. <laughs> <laughs> Literally ten minutes. Oh, that later. was. Oh, that was extraordinary. Oh. Anyways, yeah, July thirty first. Oh. Come hang out, and it's, it's, it's only it should be just pure chaos from start to finish, and that's the goal. So hell yeah, I'm there. Fuck it, let's get it. Oh god, man, I guess Koiba was a funny Ooh. fucker that night. I can't, I, man. <laughs> you know, both intentionally being, and unintentionally. <laughs> him being passed out on the floor with his foot on me, going, I'm not going to sleep. <laughs> and we're trying to like figure out if we need to put him in the fucking recovery position. It was just like this thing fine. of like you no, I mean, is going full. You like, were rubbing your foot against my leg. Kobe going full like non-responsive. You know we're like trying to ask him questions and talk to him. This guy is just. It just... was just so much effort to talk. I was like, no. I, don't want to. <laughs> I yeah, need, like, I want I need to a second. To. I need to lie down for a second. And then I was fine. <laughs> oh, I'm fine, guys. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> um... I'm really sorry about this boy. I'm vomiting down the sink. Me having to oh, fucking God. rinse the sink out before we handed the Airbnb over because it smelled like sink. Man, what a fucking, <laughs> what a good fucking vacation, boys. That was, that was a really good <laughs> time. Oh my God. February right. 2025, baby, I'm going back. Yeah. Meanwhile, mm. Bell's like, Run that part I'm happy to have not missed out on having to listen to Koiba. Oh, Pink Bell, you would have had a good night with Koiba in that state. I would be fucking scared of laughing at him. Until um, Bell wanted to sleep and then was had to deal with okay, it. Okay, no, you imagine trying to get Bell's wheelchair up into that fucking Airbnb? Oh, that would have been dreadful, actually. Yeah, holy fuck, the driveway? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Bell would have had so much fun going down that fucking That's driveway. That's true. <laughs> Bell would be in the fucking Dude, hill. No, because steep the hill. end of the driveway was like straight yeah. onto the road. Exactly. Like it was a. Yeah, you, no, you go. Downhill, 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 path, straight down onto the road. So you'd like. Mm, boom, and just. <laughs> she's gone. Yeah, she's gone. On the other side like, of that road, you've got like, like a forest, a river, like a like, river, and a forest, forest yeah. for a couple of houses, and then a fucking river. I'd still do it. We know that's the problem. Yeah, because you she were, goes out like a fucking you were in hero. Rotterdam, like on the top of a fucking skate ramp, being like, oh, yeah. I walk, I, me and me and Obti walked past that skate park, like, man, we could have sent Bell down that dude. <laughs> if there weren't kids, if there weren't kids in that skate park, I think we would have done it. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's the thing. That but then you wanted to give, you didn't want to give the impressionable kids ideas. <laughs> no. Be in trouble. Like. Ditch to push disabled people down. Yeah, you didn't want, want to yeah, be setting no. that, that yeah. example. <laughs> Think about the children, you know? It's more because I thought I was going to accidentally hit one, and that's just even worse. Yeah, also sorry, a problem. Sorry for this. Dutch, can Did, you just uh... stop making those jokes, please? <laughs> <laughs> Ten minutes later. Oh, by the way, <laughs> I caught something about children. <laughs> 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 so okay anyway <clears throat> let's uh <clears throat> let's, let's, let's zone back in uh so yeah laura's nine year anniversary on twitch the 31st of july yeah. let's fucking get it we're playing yep. overwatch and great. should i hijack it and do my eight year at the same time <laughs> I, I, i'm not opposed if you want i don't give a fuck joint anniversary stream fuck it oh cute uh anyone else have anything that they want i mean our to... birthdays are close enough too so why the fuck true. not yeah. <laughs> Anyone else have anything that they want to share with the clan? 
Anthony Nelm Schmidt. Also, there was a new Nether Deep episode yesterday. It'll be up on YouTube soon. Yeah. Oh gosh. All right, going once, going twice. Go fuck yourselves. What um, is that? Oh wait, wait. Corby's got a Corby's got a oh. cake. I'm gonna oh, go grab my tea. He's gonna eat an entire. Is that a cake or a pie? The cake. What kind of cake? It's a, it's a little cake. The Victoria sponge. That was, that was my, my guess from what I could see. Uh, with a what utensil will you be consuming? Hand. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you think there's a utensil? I mean, I was yeah. hoping maybe. Well, you know, maybe okay, fork. Is, Seven. This is my D and D snack. None of you fuckers have bought me one yet. I've got a knife yeah. to cut up with, so I'm not a complete lunatic. Bro, that's dark. That's past. not a cutting knife. That is a fucking weapon. It's a cutting knife. Any knife's a weapon, really. If you think. For a cake. Technically. Oh, sorry, sorry. The knife I usually use is in the wash. Like I'm it's in, in the washing up bowl to be like cleaned. Lick a clean bowl. I'm good. <laughs> Take you don't it out. Your, you don't your Take it out of the sink and just dry it off on your shirt. I'm fully good. No wonder that. You don't lick your knives. I don't think you do. I don't lick my knife. Funny enough, no. <laughs> I don't I always, lick like my when knife. I like make a peanut butter sandwich, I always go mm, knife before I put it. And then you like. Cut your tongue and it's cringe. Almost thirty years in this I planet, assume he's not before, making so. a peanut butter sandwich with a sharp knife. No, I mean it'll probably. My boy's cut not my over tongue. here. With if it. I were to like lick the blade, it'd probably cut my tongue. But like, I'm not stupid. I'm not using just I a know about butter knife. Hmm? What was that, Ethaniel? I said you're not using just like a butter knife. No, well, sort of. It's like a hybrid. It is a butter knife, but it has like small little. In dents, in case oh, you yeah. got something with it. I'm being called out. We've got those. They don't do very much. Being called out? Yeah. Oh, are you? Being called out. Yeah. By who? <laughs> and Dougie. About what? Dougie is about eating entire cake. <laughs> Dougie DM me being like, don't eat an entire cake. <laughs> hey, do you know what? I don't know if this. I feel like this is an upgrade from him eating the fucking Swiss roll like a burrito. Ow, I'm not like gonna eat like a fucking burger. I'm not gonna be like, okay. Oh, hey. Do you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if you yeah, that would be funny. What the fuck are you guys I was fully, when you said hand, I was I don't expecting know, man. you to it's spell, you... Welcome back. You know, this is just kind of what we are now. Um, I regret kind of devolved yeah. into chaos because my influence alone was not enough to keep the wheels on track yeah. on this whole yeah. train right here. It's funny because I, I don't know. You can't show up looking like an extra from the fuck, uh, looking like an extra from the fucking hangover. Oh, oh, if you're that. Really chaotic. Laura no. is joining a Blues Brothers tribute act. But it's all women, <laughs> so it's the Blues Sisters. The Blues that sisters. actually sounds dope. <laughs> like, I wish, yeah. I wish I had the talent to do that. Actually. It's all women, <laughs> not all two of them. Weren't there three members of Blue Brothers? No. Oh, just two. no. Was it two? Oh, two. Just three. Oh, three. Why is that so funny? It's like a fucking thing from the know. 80s. I'm sorry, bro. My bad. But I thought it that just Even I wasn't alive yet, so it's, it's old. The, the really hitting that. Get a load of this guy. There's not many <laughs> blues brothers no more. Like, oh, who the like fuck? Knowing how many, par, um, many people part of the Baja boys, you know? Like, <laughs> they don't want you to know about the third blues brother. Third blues brother. Just hit the tap. Say that five times fast. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Three. <clears throat> sorry. Last we left off, gamers. You uh, ventured back to the city of Kalzir, accompanied by... Uh, a small squadron of um, Githyanki. Um, you reconvened at the Guild Hall for the Heroes of Exile and uh, were reunited with some of your friends and family that managed to escape the dragon attack in Eldilon. Uh, among them, Captain Vera, uh, Ren, Yorin, Ren, Ren, right? Like, kind of like, you know, that's kind of how the, 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 <laughs> that was a stroke. Anyway, <clears throat> um, <laughs> as well as Celesti and 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 some others, Captain Blackpaw, just a lot of people that you've interacted with before, um, managed to escape the the dragon invasion and were put on an airship and flown directly to Kalzir. Um, you then sat in a room and had a meeting about uh, the about the the plan going forward and and and, and about the the, the githyanki and their plans and and celesti was really happy to aid them because <clears throat> the idea of finding a githyanki crash and um finding access to the astral sea really aligns with her kind of quest if you will uh her her life's work um 
So she kind of took charge of that. Um, told Davian later on that whenever they do <clears throat> plan on going to that crash, that she would like for everyone to, to join her. Uh, so there is a potential for some Astral Sea exploration, uh, go, you know, down the line, once you're done killing and hunting down five fucking dragons. <clears throat> you then... If we um, survive. You know. Astros. You will! You then... <laughs> Decided it was time to start chasing down your second of five targets. Uh, the green dragon that resides in the uh, the, the forest in Segalia. Um, a forest you are not unfamiliar with, but you've learned a thing or two about how to navigate it, what kind of determines what parts of the forest you will encounter uh, based on uh, when, you, when you go in. Um, <clears throat> you were teleported to uh, Portugal, and you were told to just head north down the road for about two days until you reach uh, an abandoned tower, and then you can just cut east, or take a right, basically, and, and just cut right into the woods. Uh, so you're on that path. On your first day of the two-day travel, you were attacked slash ambushed by a few wyvern riders, knights wearing plate armor, riding wyverns through the clouds trying to ambush you and you also figured out after defeating them that there was definitely some uh, some night web shenanigans going on there uh, and then as you made camp for the night you well daigon in particular uh were approached by a ghost a ghost that looked like an individual wearing pretty dated um empire armor and the gist of what he told you is that um, he asked you to find out what happened to them and then kind of nodded at the tower up the road. Mm -hmm. Which had a, a strange kind of ominous, in the dark, a kind of ominous looking hue kind of around it. Suggesting that there is definitely more to the tower than it's just an abandoned tower that no one uses anymore. Um, <clears throat> I believe Daigon then informed the rest of the group about that. Uh, encounter, and we'll pick things up there as you're all kind of cleaning up your your camp or your your sleeping supplies yeah. and get it ready for the the, the the second day of this trek. Um, so we've long rested. You've long rested. Yes, uh, Kess just I guess Kess just kind of pops out the vessel and hey. Uh, so you're you're accompanied by Kess again. My understanding was she's been here the whole time. It's just been like a little bit more quiet than usual. Like she hasn't been gone gone. I don't think we ever had a like. Oh, she said she's like. Oh, I have to leave again for a thing. She's yeah, just kind but of, yeah, but she still pops out of the vessel. I mean. It's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah, you were all uh, getting ready to kind of head north. I think you decided that you would check out the tower, but if yeah. it seemed like it would take longer than a day to figure out what the hell's going on there, you were probably gonna leave it on the back burner and focus on the task at hand. So yeah. What the heck is going on here? Exactly. So what would you like to do to start your day off? Have a big stretch, go for a shit against a tree. Um. <clears throat> oh shit, wait, didn't I see some weird shit last night? You also saw things that we've now realized were the ghosty stuff. Because yeah. you saw, like, those, there was also, it looked like, like, funeral, like, mounds and, like, cairns in the distance. And we saw lights, like, going to them but then later now we think those lights were like ghosts or maybe people visiting like it was Didn't also torchlight like maybe people visiting yeah that's what i just said isn't that yeah that's what i said yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay the, and the, the ghost asked daigon to please figure out what happened to them and then kind of gesture yeah. the tower and then disappear so because they want to move on so and then we've I was cast like, exposition yeah yeah everyone is aware daigon's informed everyone okay yes i'm guessing those that are maybe more learned or studied in history when i describe their their like what they were wearing their gear no it doesn't ring any bells for anyone of any maybe like historical battles that would have happened around uh, here anyone or... in this c company proficient in history like mostly yeah. looking at the last one maybe <laughs> uh, I, yeah, want you, yeah. I want you Koiba, because the last one is from the other continent i want you to roll disadvantage yeah that's fine uh, yeah, yeah. i'm i'm not from around here mm. <laughs> cool that's a giant 10 10 all you know is that it suggests that they were empire soldiers, but the armor described to you uh, 
sounds dated. Like, that is not the armor they wear nowadays. It's it's a, a previous rendition of the Empire colors and the armor. Definitely Empire soldiers, but um, very uh, historical armor, I suppose. It's not the current uh, symbols and <clears throat> color scheme used. It's not the same regalia. So they're old ghosts. Yeah. <laughs> Enough, the ghosts of soldiers are old. <clears throat> I was hoping for maybe New. like a rough range of calendar years, but I oh, that's not too a much clue. to hope for. Should have rolled more not recent. Than <laughs> Sorry, I'm uh, <clears throat> from, the, from the other kingdoms of the Empire, so it's not my uh, that's fair. Well, I guess we'll go check out a tower. Yeah, my spells on the way. Yeah, that fucking you... spooky haunted towers. Great. Right. right. And not all ghosts are spooky. They seemed quite nice. I suppose oh, Dagen, you're speaking you're from spooky. experience now, so. Yeah. If you spooky when you want to be, Dagen. Well, I try, but usually it ends up being less spooky and more just awkward. I feel like the spookiness of ghosts isn't really an individual basis thing. It's more like the whole concept of it all, right? Or with the times I've tried to be spooky, it's just like, hey, stop being weird and watching me when I'm trying to have a private moment. And I'm like, okay, sorry. So it doesn't, you know, hasn't really worked out very well. Yeah, it's not great. Like, yeah, you know, that could be a little bit... That's the spookiest thing of all, awkwardness. <laughs> that, truly. I did suggest that, you know ghost life isn't the worst thing in the world, but then they also reminded me they're kind of stuck to one place. Like, I can go where I want, so that would... Sorry, I guess that did would you suck. say ghost life isn't yeah. the worst thing in the world? Ghost yeah. unlife? Not really life, though, is it? <laughs> well, it's not death. Unlife? But unlife makes me sound like a lich. Lich is a pretty badass, though, right? Not, not, universe, not usually liked. Or tolerated. I prefer you're, lich. You're the first yeah. likable lich. What the fuck? Very, com <laughs> very compelling I prefer the lich if it was nice. <laughs> they could be cool. Liches could be cool. Have you? How many liches have you met? Not all liches, guys. Not all liches. None. <laughs> just heard about them. Have you fought a lich? Yeah. Campaign was the last campaign. That was the last campaign. Last, last campaign, campaign we definitely fought one. Yeah, we, we definitely fought, fought one. A couple times. Oh, yeah, they fought the same one several times. The same yeah. one. Yeah, it's yeah. true. Yeah. True. <laughs> and his so we'll met his biggest fan. Or something. Checking out the the tower fucking, head there. there. Nobody. Yeah. 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 Fucking the, <laughs> the witch queen Zenji. Ugh. Zenji. Man, Jesus. what a fucking loser. <laughs> Right. Um, is Onu how far? How many? Dog? How many hours march to this fucking tower then? Uh, it looks about. You'll get there by sundown. -ish. Oh, it's the whole day. Yeah. Yes, it is. So um, it's gonna be when a we really said we're not devoting, I spy. Yes, yeah, so when we said we're not devoting more than one day to it, did we mean one day upon arrival, or do we no. just mean we're going to give it a few yeah. hours in the evening, and the day included the travel? Because I didn't, I didn't think that through when we. No, made that we'll decision. we'll say we'll say. Well, I think the, is it a big discussion... detour from the play, the way we're heading, mm. or is it like on? The no, way? it's kind of on the literally way. on the way. Then then the travel mm. doesn't count. Like your instructions yeah, okay, cool. you were given was literally head north until you reach the abandoned tower, then cut east. Do fair oh, yeah. like, so, so we'll it give was, it one full day. It was more. It was more like. If we get there and they say you have to get some sort of amulet or something from a different part of the region and all that, fuck that, right? <laughs> I don't know. Like, if we can't sort it in the tower, we're not sorting it in the tower. Let's do it later. Towers full of ghosts means mm -hmm. some kind of curse. Curse usually means some kind of magic stuff. Which means there's probably something val valuable to someone in there, right? Your little, fucking, your little fucking gang oh, who so... collects weird artifacts probably, you know. That doesn't mean anything. Bear. I also think... I used to know someone who like, thought a shell was important. Like... Okay, was, but was, if these was that a hermit are... crab? Yeah. They are quite important. <laughs> quite important to them. <laughs> yeah, was but then, really... they, like, then they line up and get rid of them and it's really cute. You know, seen that? 
No, all I'm saying I've is so I've missed I've missed the shit man. <laughs> the adventure into this tower could prove lucrative. And we're technically doing a good deed. Exactly. Maybe. Unless and the maybe we'll learn we'll learn something means. forgotten to history, because they're like so old. And then we can go to scholars be like, guess what? We now know this very important thing and And the one maybe... person studying it would give a shit. It's gonna and, be great. And then we'll write a book and make money. And we'll sell it to two people. <laughs> the, the... The school and the scholar. Hey, it's important. <laughs> so two copies, guys. <laughs> Pretty big deal. I had to print it by the thousand, though. <clears throat> um, for the sake of travel, is Onu a dog or a bird? Uh, with the, uh, the, the fact we're going to be going into it. Okay, no, travel bird. Then we'll get to the tower. It'll be late. We'll camp and then dog. So yeah, because yeah, the next now, day uh, we're gonna do the tower. Yeah, because I feel like at nighttime, because like when we looked at it at nighttime, it has this ghostly glow to it, and it's probably extra creepy at nighttime. So to minimize the creep factor, we'll go during the daytime. Minimize the creep. <laughs> uh, which one of you is leading the pack, and which one of you is closing? So walking all the way at the back. Uh, I could go f up front in case any ghosts do come back, because maybe they'll recognize I'm right in the me middle. At. I'll walk up front with Daigon. I'm standing right there in the middle. I'll be behind a last run then. Okay. Brooks, where, what's your... Uh, are you behind? I, I will hang out at the back. Okay. With Jax. Cool, cool, cool. <clears throat> yeah, Jax is it's, here. He is here. He just, uh, you know. Uh, he will also not take part he's, in any he's combat. Having, if, his arthritis is happens. real bad today. He's not very chatty, you know. Yeah, he's, he's just, um, he's having, he's a bit rough. <laughs> no, he died in his sleep yeah. after all these years. <laughs> his face plate came down on his armor and got stuck. So we can't really <laughs> hear or speak to him. Um, we can just okay. him along. So on your trek, uh, the day is quite nice. Uh, after the weird storm you encountered uh, that was conjured up by the, the wyvern's presence, um... The day is the day now is, is is pretty clear. Not many clouds in the sky. Nice sun, uh, because you're relatively close to the coastline. There's a nice gentle breeze, so it is quite uh, nice conditions. Um, those walking up front, so Davian and Daigon and Brooks, since you're at the back, you three roll me perception checks, please. Seven. <clears throat> I'm stuck underneath the board. A it's natural fucking, three. It's fine. It's once, we get to me, the, the, once we get to whatever the fuck, I'll have to swap boards anyway, so it's not really... Oh, fuck. Just seeing Davin's fucking head popping out every now and again. Uh, perception? <laughs> yes, please. 19. Davin? Uh, My die is on the floor. Hold on. Okay. Uh, 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 uh 18. Okay. Uh, Daigon? You're just dis kind of distracted by, like, what a nice day. I'm having an existential crisis now about some ghost birds, things. Some birds, you know, you get distracted <laughs> by some birds as well. Kind of like, oh, that's a bird. You know, that's, uh, that's what you see. Um, Brooks, you kind of keep an eye on, uh, on on the behind, making sure you're not followed and what not. Uh, you rolled an 18 or a 19? A 19. Because funnily enough, it does make a difference. Um, <laughs> on the first little bit of your travel, um, like about half an hour, you look back, you can still kind of see the remnants where you where you slept. You can see that from the west, so where those burial mounds were that, that were spotted uh, last night. Uh, three... Somebody just died in the back of the house. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. I mean, um, it is Bell's house. They are in true, the True, yeah. Uh, three individuals walk into Vision on the path, mm. coming from the burial mounds direction, but they seem to be heading south, so away from... Can I discern anything about these individuals? Uh, they look humanoid. Okay. That's really all. I will <laughs> do my best to keep an eye on them, but... Uh, yeah, and it, it doesn't take long for them to completely leave your your vision uh, as, as you guys keep trekking. Uh, Davian, mm -hmm. you look forward and you kind of keep an eye on, on the tower that keeps getting closer. Um, during the daytime... It just looks like this old decrepit tower, kind of broken walls, cracks, and quite large uh, tears with with these 
vines kind of sprouting out of the ground and, and growing into them. Like this tower, as as you look upon it now, just in your approach, looks like it has not been kept up or used in hundreds of years. Uh, the roof caved okay. in. How many uh, hundreds? A couple, you know. Okay. A couple. A couple. Um, Say two fifty. <laughs> But as you get closer and closer, you um, every every once in a while, when when the shadows kind of hit it, you can see this vague greenish, blackish uh, smoke almost kind of surrounding it. And you, as you look upon the windows, the closer and closer you get, you see figures, but only for like a split second, and they're gone. Only like, only like in. Inside the windows, like there are people yeah. moving around inside. Yeah, okay. but, on, but this only happens whenever, like a cloud, a, a, one of the few clouds that are there covers the sun, and there's some shadow cast over there. Like it, it seems to you that yeah. the only weird things you see happen when there is darkness surrounding the tower. Um, and as you all get closer, uh, not much really happens on your trek there. It's quite a calm, it's quite a calm day, uh, and you get there towards sunset. Uh, you reckon once you arrive at the like at like spitting distance from the tower, you reckon you have like about an hour of sunlight left in the day. Um, and you see before you this this like I said this decrepit old tower looking um, like like older version of what military watchtowers and keeps uh, currently like nowadays look like. Uh, but like all the windows are covered in dust, some of the walls caved in, the roof destroyed, cracks in the walls, and all these 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 thick plants kind of sprouting out them. Um, like I said, it, this looks old, abandoned, and has not seen use or upkeep in a very long time. Is there a, there are a lot of cobwebs? Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. This place looks old, abandoned, like it hasn't seen use for a very long time. But I keep seeing shadows in the windows. Does anyone else see that? Do I see that? Uh, <clears throat> Sorry, I've been a little distracted. Make a perception check. I don't win these. Don't say sorry for bothering me if you're not sorry for bothering me. Fucking. Sorry to bother you, my lord. <laughs> sorry to bother you, but please can I sell you shit? No, no, good man. <laughs> uh, what did you roll, sorry? 14. Um, you're not sure. Uh, like I said, this it's right now there's still some sunlight. To you, at face value, it just looks like a very old, stinky tower. St oh, it's stinky now. <laughs> well, in the literal sense. It's old, decrepit, dirty, I know Devin have, have this Ghost stories, not too paranoid, seeing things. Well, I'm just thinking, you know, it could be ghosts. It could be that there's some bandits taken up, you know. I'll, I'll also have a quick look to see if... Uh, Make a perception check. Let's see anything. It could be the shambling uh, corpses. Of... 25? Yeah. Um, I'm a plus 10, baby. <laughs> you see a figure standing in the open doorway. Just looking at you. Wearing this military gear, plate helmet, kind of like not on his head, but like under his arm, looking at but no, him. but no head. Well, no, he has a head. Uh, yeah. and but three heads. The head, <laughs> it's it's quite hard to discern uh, because this figure yeah. is very much a ghost. Like it's this green, yeah. spectral, uh, being. But for what you can discern, looks humanoid, uh, human, yeah. maybe half elf. I like, like to think what has happened is I'm mocking Davian for ghost stories and go, yeah, there's nothing in the... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then yeah. just like, point, <laughs> and just like... Uh. Um, but it's only for a split second. As soon as yeah. the sun peeks out again from behind one of the clouds, that, that vision fades. Like, you don't see it. You better start believing in ghost stories, ghost stories Miss Swan. Swan. You're oh, in yeah. one. <laughs> I mean, you've been in one for a, a minute. Whoa. <laughs> like, uh, hello. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, as I'm mocking fucking Davian over this, I'm like, yeah, never mind. Less of a <laughs> because, uh, more of a horror. Fair enough, Daniel, you make a very good point. Yes, there are definitely figures in there. <laughs> There's one at the doorway. <laughs> what kind of people join the military? 
Quick what question. kind of people? It depends on if there was a war going on. Like they may have been conscripted. Sometimes they're forced to. Yeah, they didn't actually want to. I mean, mostly it's people. There's no one military type. People who like structure. People who are looking to get away from things. People, people who, who just, just need money and don't generally have men money. aged between sort of seventeen and fifty that don't have anything else going on or can't provide for the realm in some better way if they're able-bodied and can hold a spear or sword you know they'll be plucked up by whatever well, lord commands really, them and really thrust really onto the battlefield and some like people just really fun. want yeah some people just i have to admit i briefly considered it Ooh. really really uh, does not sh does not shock me in the slightest when i was looking to get the fuck out from home and you know things were going on i considered it and then i uh came to the realization that I would not do well in, in a regimented structure. I was going to say, there's well, far too much it. structure. And, and you have to really use, like, real weapons. I don't like being told what time I have to get off. And you, you have to, like they make you use, like, do. swords and spears and shit, and you can't, like, punch. I can use a fucking sword, you know. But you don't like I'm not, to. It's I'm not, not your not method of choice. I'm not the best, but I can use one. I know, but you don't choose to. So I figured oh, you wouldn't like it if they forced you to. I actually don't know. I don't know if if you're allowed to pick your weapons in the military. Just some militaries allow you, but most tend to have. You either it depends what regiment you're in, right? If you're a spearman, if you're a. It was footman. more that I I didn't think I would take the uh, aggressive feedback well. True. Um, authority. You're very good at providing aggressive feedback. Don't I know it? I try my hurt. Hey. <laughs> You're so strong. They would have. They would have found work for you in the in the army, and probably found someone even bigger and stronger to you know beat the uh, insubordination out of you. Yeah, but, okay, but the problem the problem with the military is <laughs> that I'm either telling other people what to do, which not a fan of, or I'm being That's told what to do, not a fan of. You fucking love telling people what to do. No, I just like. I think your issue would be what they call the chain of command, which is where someone tells you what to tell people what to do, and then, no, nah, then you're really in trouble. When have I ever <laughs> told you what to do? Um, quite often, actually. I'll be honest. Very often. No. You've also told me what I'm... not to do, how to not do things, how to <laughs> do things. Well, Lazarus, when he's told you what not to do, usually it's things that we all are in agreement. Like you know, don't go off by yourself. We all second that. We're sentiment. not talking about. We're not talking if about everyone else. Better, we're talking about... <laughs> if you were better at not getting yourself fucked up. I wouldn't have to tell you what to do. If you were better at being a sneaky bastard, I wouldn't have to tell you what to you do. You blew yourself up Look, with a grenade. Look, I can practically picture you in front of, I, I can I in front of a lot of men right now. Know your limitations. <laughs> no, you're, you didn't know them. You blew yourself up with a grenade. You just blew yourself up. Also, the first of us gets stabbed in the street by himself. Or, so if anything, or... I know better than anyone not to wander off on your fucking upside. Maybe that means you have done great in the military, because lots of them have get themselves, you know, blown up in the line of duty. So maybe he yeah, but usually right they in. get themselves blown up. They don't yeah, do they blow the them blowing themselves. up of themselves Ooh. themselves. Ooh. Fair. Ooh. I, I am cracking a single fucking joke with that one, lad, so we can leave that alone and move on. You ever ridden you ever ridden a horse, Brooks? Haven't we all ridden? Like we've no, all seen each mean? other ride horses. <laughs> I was gonna make sense of horses, but yes, I've, no, I've ridden a horse. <laughs> it said horse. But didn't we also at one point, like, right? I, I there may have been last campaign. Not this campaign. <laughs> oh, I'm just well, I'm just confusing of all because Kess and I spent lots of time yeah. riding horses before mm. before we were with you guys. So I forgot. What's going on? Stealing them flates together, the, and going, stealing them. Also true. I was going to make a joke about centaurs, but no, I I can ride a horse. Centaurs are fun. Where's the... Mm -hmm. I, mm. Riding centaurs, uh, right? Mm. I, I'm, I'm, I'm picking on what you're putting down, Brooks. Mm. I'm not. How do they wear a tie? I don't get it. You're... When... <laughs> with a <the> centaur... <laughs> I'm <it's rough>. Where... <laughs> is it? Where is it? <laughs> where, horse where it counts, baby. All, all I'm saying... <laughs> The face. You don't need me to so answer is it, that. So then is there it, is are it very few centaurs that wear trousers. With a centaur? You because I've seen <laughs> illustrations of, for example, mermaids. That's a tricky one. Where the where the maid joins the mer. There, too, there could be in... But with the, with the centaur... The maid the mer. What do you... 
Hello. Anyway, I think. Anyway, moving on. This is a chat. This is our day walking to the tower. This is like the conversation. Is it? Is it playing I Spy? We're like, now would you fuck a mermaid or reverse or mermaid? Centaur. <laughs> We're just okay. this entire time. We're playing Would You Rather, but with mythical centaurs. Creatures, that's our whole trick. Two rib cages, and I hate. Kind of hate that. Yeah. That is weird. Someone doesn't think it's like, so where are their organs? Do they have them? Are they all on the horse part? And is this like human part like empty? Or do they have two sets of That's organs? Right. Or are they in here? Right. The horse part I'm a believer has none. That they have two sets. Surely, no, no. Like, where does it go? Where does surely, it all go? Surely their two rib cages have to be connected. Otherwise, the only thing holding them upright would be their spine. They'd be flopping about. And a lot of lung capacity on one of those bad boys. A lot, a lot of muscle and like cartilage and like rigid tissue supporting the spine. They could still hold themselves up, but they'd be very high risk they, injury. They actually have. Yeah, as soon as you like stop at a great speed as a fucking centaur, you're just gonna flip forward and Fall snap over. your own spine. Your... Whip. Constant whiplash. <laughs> <laughs> the worst. That, that rib cage has got to be like all one piece, right? Maybe their spines are like cats, because you know what cats? You know how cats are so bendy and their backs no, are like, like a golf no. cart crazy. It's because they have this like cushiony extra material in between each vertebrae of their spine. Too close that's what makes them bendy. So maybe centaurs can do that. No, 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 no they're like insects. I'm looking at an anatomy like... drawings of centaurs. Why? Because I want to know. I want to know like. What do people think about this? I don't know. What's your opinion on centaur? I've seen some really, really <laughs> cursed drawings of like theories on centaur anatomy, and I never again. Minotaur. Minotaur. <laughs> Minotaur. All right. Um. So yeah. You know. The sun is setting. Uh. You are basically a couple hundred feet away from said abandoned tower. What would you like to do? Are we going in? Now, whilst you know it's all glowy and shit. No. Or well, we no, going we're gonna wait till tomorrow. Not glowy and shit. Let's go in the haunted tower right at night. Yeah, nothing ever bad has happened then. Yeah, but if that's how we have to break the curse. Uh, you specifically said that when the sun, like the ghost, only came when it was like shadowy. So when the sun's out, surely we'll see very few ghosts. And I don't think we need them. Their help, like directly, to help free them from whatever's holding them here. If anything, they might be more distracting and get in the way, and it's better in the daytime because we were looking for maybe an object they're tied to or, like, something that indicates a curse or whatever. I think it'd be easier in the daytime, personally. That's an excellent point. I've Okay, but we've got three options the way I see it. Because I'm tired. We've walked Option number day. one, we camp out at night in a fucking haunted tower. Not no, we in camp the out tower. outside in the, the option, haunted option tower. Option number two, we camp out outside a fucking haunted tower. Or option number three, we go in the fucking haunted tower, we get this shit done, we fuck off. I mean, but they're friendly. They already mm -hmm. talk to us. They're very nice. No, yeah. all right. Okay, the ghosts themselves are friendly, but whatever's binding them here probably isn't. So we wait till daytime, because it, maybe right. it's suppressed just like they're suppressed at daytime. But it's more powerful during the day, and we fuck this. I look at Cass. You're a resident spooky fuck. Am I? Yeah. Dargan's a literal, a literal ghost. ghost. <laughs> I mean, you but are the one who made. I'm not spooky. I mean, you are the one who made literal, like, crying shadow people. And that, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, that is fucked. When it, when like, it we never kind of to... talked about it, but it's fucked. I love uh, that. Trick. When it it's not a trick. It's kind of fucked up. Realm of knowledge. It's this is. Trick. I would put this in your wheelhouse. So what the fuck well, do mean, we do? I I don't I don't know. I've I've dealt with one ghost, and she's right there. <clears throat> They're not this is stealing chickens from a house. What the fuck it was? <laughs> I think, okay, I think we're we're asking I stole, more. I stole the chickens less... and put them in the house. That's. I think we're asking less about your direct experience with ghosts, but more just your general um intuition and vibe check of this kind of thing <clears throat> like what what is your gut what is your gut feeling does you think it'd be better to go in at night and it would help our help us f solve what's keeping them here and the risk is not as big or do you think it's better to go in the day <laughs> daylight and that'd be more helpful i'm on team daylight personally i say we go in at night of course. Because, like, if they're glowing and stuff, then you can see where they're glowing, right? I, but I don't saw... think it's them that we need to see. I think it's something well, else. What... Like, they're not the direct okay. cause of the problem. Well, if I glowing, sort of have a theory that might support going in at night. Yeah. If the ghosts are friendly and we can see the most of the ghosts at night, maybe they'll be helpful. 
Maybe they'll protect. I us. mean, the other one wasn't very helpful. He didn't seem to know what was keeping him here at all. Maybe that's that didn't one. Give any there might be one in here who knows more because they're on the inside. I'm and not think... talking about helpful in terms true. of information, but they could be distracting. They might be able to fight. They might, you know, if they if they perceive us as a potential help, you know, they they could do anything to help us out. So also we're as ready now as we will be in the morning in terms of resources and. We can all see in the dark fairly well. And... Plus, I think if we go in, I'm going to leave my my body out here because then yeah. they'll be more comfortable because there's someone who is like them. Some of them, I met one of them, and I'll give off light too. So I'd also be a light source in there. Okay, but if we run into trouble, you need to Wait. jump inside one of us. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can do that. I can do that. Also, this is going to be a great story, right? One time we went into a town full of ghosts at night. <laughs> We'll tell it around campfires, freak out little children. Exactly. I love scaring children. And it will have a happy ending. I don't know why I just yeah. had it in my in my mind that Kess would be our fount of occult knowledge, but Sorry, did you I forget mean, that Kess know... doesn't know anything about that's not to the Feywild? Yeah. I, I just assumed that there were ghosts in the Feywild. Mm. There are ghosts everywhere. Yeah. Ghosts are just you spirits have, of those who are once living, to see them. and yeah, there are once living in every plane of existence. So, by logic, there are ghosts in every <laughs> plane of existence. Well, I mean, if I you used to be a monk. Remember, I did lots of spiritual training for a long time. Oh, Jenny also had the you had the arms as well, right? You had some weird astral. Mm -hmm. Which is why, not gonna yeah, lie, if we maybe go to you the should astral plane, in some I'm gonna be a little bit sad from time to that I'm no longer like. Also spiritual an training being. is what he calls. Opening up a bottle of rum and vodka and drinking at the same time. Technically, rum's not a spirit, but I mean it is. But sure. <laughs> okay, I guess we're going in at nighttime then. I'm gonna go find. Going I'm gonna look for right somewhere. now, baby. I'm gonna look for somewhere that has decent cover, like a place to yeah. to hide the body. So, like on the off chance someone comes by, they're not like, "Oh, look, a bunch of really for precious the, uh, metal," and like try and steal it. I'm gonna give the boys for an hour once we go in the. Uh... 300 foot dark vision before we go in yeah, i would like to hold hold my hand hold grab my hand, <laughs> grab my hand. uh <laughs> hold on where where's my fucking i swear there was like a beast thing that i could cast like one beast sense primal awareness no that's not it wait is it Hold on. It's been yes. a while. Yes. It's, it's been a while. Beast sense. And I will use beast sense to see through owner's eyes. Mm -hmm. And then send him to do a like a, a spiraling upward sweep of the tower and then and then back down again. Mm -hmm. Get an idea of what we're dealing with here. Structurally, how many floors, any baddies through the windows. Okay. Uh, Onu flies around and floors wise, it's not a super tall tower. It could be two, potentially three, maybe. It's hard to hard to decide. That, to judge. Could you even call that a tower? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Perhaps uh, other floors have like crumbled away. Maybe it used to be taller, and that's what's left. A lot of the windows that uh, Onu sees are shattered or covered with a layer of dust so thick that you can barely look through it. Um, so Ono doesn't really pick up much. There's not really much to learn, to discern from sweeping it from the outside. That really stinks, you know. Just like this tower. It's smell it for me. Stinky. Musty. That'll be all. Okay. Oh. Are you headed in? Yes. I, I, Do yeah. I find somewhere that I can yeah, put the course, body that it's out of sight? Of course. I'll dig. I'll dig a hole if I need to, but it'll get dirty. All right. You would just dig a hole. As you step in to the tower, it almost seems like you're stepping into a moment in history. From what from the outside looked like an abandoned room, as soon as you cross the threshold of the door, you step into what looks like a room lit up by a fireplace, the opposite end, across from the door. This dining table with four ghosts, ghostly figures, sitting at it, having food, engaging in conversation with each other. You also see 
long um, banners displaying a golden dragon hanging around the uh, the room. Um, the room looks in pristine condition. You can see that there's a latch in the floor on the left-hand side, which potentially could lead to some kind of basement. And you can also see on the western wall a ladder that leads up to another latch that goes up a floor. Um, but yeah, this place looks lively, looks well-kept, it, it feels warm. And you see these four ghosts just engaging in conversation with each other. They don't really pay you any mind as you step in. But it's it's a very strange sensation. But, uh, you were pretty sure Please, from the outside may you I? through the door it looked abandoned and empty. And you step in and suddenly there's just there's 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 fire, there's warmth, there's a well kept room. They are ghosts, but they are engaging in conversation almost like they are alive. Having no, does this feel like illusion magic? Like the table, the fireplace is not here. Like there's it's actually just like empty uh, and abandoned uh, like the outside suggests and this is just a facade maybe i was just um, gonna say please can i attempt to perceive if this is an illusion or not yeah stick your hand in the fire you'll find out um no i think for the sake of this uh it is very clear that something's off here right like you just step yeah. through right yeah so, but it's to kind of discern what's going on uh, and you would have been able me... to see light from the fire outside exactly like if there was even cracks um, in the doors and stuff davian if you're trying to discern more, can you give me an Arcana check? I believe. Uh, Is there no. any, also, while he's rolling, one thing that it. looks out of place? Like, one thing that doesn't fit the illusion? Like, there's one thing that's still, like, oh, there is, like, a broken vase in the corner. Something that doesn't fit the warm, homey, inviting, and well-kept. No, everything That maybe be easy to great. miss at first? Okay. Um, I rolled a 16. Check? Roll a 16? Yeah. <clears throat> you are unsure no. whether this is an illusion or you've genuinely stepped into a time capsule. Some kind of magic that transported you by closing by, by crossing the threshold that transported you to the past. It's, it's but not sure. okay, okay, okay. Geographically we are in the same plane in the same location but back in time that or did we step through that door and go to a different plane no 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 it's okay it's either the first option or a very strong illusion that's the two ideas that kind of float through your head that it has okay. to be um as you kind of take a moment to, to look around um Mm -hmm. You see four ghosts at the table. All of them are dressed in the same uniform. One of them, their uniform uh, looks a bit more uh, embellished with, with detailing, uh, indicating that that is a higher ranking uh, military man. Uh, the people at the, at the table, there's four of them total. There's that higher ranking individual um, looking like an older, maybe late 50s uh, male uh, human. It's kind of hard to tell. Like, facial features are a bit hard to tell because of his ghostly uh, shape. Uh, uh, with him at the table, there's also a younger-looking humanoid in plate armor. Um, looking late teens, maybe early 20s. Definitely a, a fresh, like, a fresher uh, recruit. You also <laughs> see a female elf who is wearing, instead of the plate, wearing leather armor. Um, and you see a individual wearing robes. Uh, also a male-looking uh, human uh, wearing robes. Still in that Empire get-up, but, but robes instead of armor. And they are having conversation. And then suddenly another figure appears beside you. It's the same ghost dragon that you've seen before. Okay. And upon close inspection, uh, it's the ghost. It's not... The ghost doesn't look like the four people at the table. This is a fifth spirit. Somebody separate. Mm -hmm. Do, this, does he or any of... Oh, sorry. This is... The night it happened. I don't remember what 
exactly transpired, but I'm fairly sure this is the night we all died. Please, if you could figure out what transpired here, investigate. Oh god, it's a murder mystery, for fuck's Make sake. Make conversation. Figure out what happened. Free us. If not you, then the likelihood is we'll be stuck here for another several hundred years. Please. The spirit slowly fades. Do any the of the spirits coach? left have um, golden, like, any insignia with golden blades on them anywhere? The one that they just said that to you? And him or the ones sitting at the table? Whoa. Uh, I mean, Anyone. they're all wearing the, 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 the Empire uh, regalia. I know, which... but does it have, like, a, anything additional, like a golden blade over just Empire? Oh, no, 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 no. okay. No golden blades here. No golden blades. Gotcha. Here. These are just... Um, do the other ghosts seem to, like, register... Us Our appearance. presence, yeah. Um, no, but you're not sure why that is because they are engaged in pretty like loud conversation. Mm -hmm. They're they're passing. Oh. Well, they're making gestures as if they're passing food around. Like it's almost like these ghosts are reliving trapped in a loop that night. Yeah, they're in a death loop, like in okay. Supernatural. Oh, um, all, I... oh, because I might just go up and. Sort yeah, of I mean, I was just going to say yeah. that Cass goes like. Hi, excuse me, yeah. and like skip over. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, all four of these people, these ghosts, look up at you and just like nod, and then go back to their uh, their goings on. That seems rude. Sorry, um, we, we're there to lost. Do you know where we are exactly? The ghost of the more higher ranked individual. <laughs> Uh, looks at you. Oh, sorry. Uh, didn't notice you. Come in. Um, we're, we're, we're having dinner as we, we have an important mission. Uh, we're trying to rest up. Um, what, what's your names? What, what are you here for? You're not supposed to be here, you know. This is... No. Well, uh, Military you, can call me, you can call me Cass. Um, so here's the, here's the funny thing. Uh, I'm not... We're not from around here. Um, right. we, we're foreign diplomats, actually. We, I mean, we kind of, yeah, but like get, from like really far away. Like, did we like, get something like, from the Empress that had like golden blade shit on it, Dutch? Uh, Once since we're staying in that light. Ooh. Um, secret lodge thing. Did we get any like key or anything that might have that symbol on it? <clears throat> I know. I think one of you got given a thing to show. Uh, Theonel to be like, hey, this is real shit, but I don't remember. No, that would be exactly. Fucking Jax. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I'll cost the old man and get it off. <laughs> um. <laughs> but this uh, this individual uh stands up and and salutes. Well, my name's General Riddock. I'm the um the leader of this 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 five man squadron. Uh, well, there's four of us now. One of them went downstairs to grab some bread. Uh, well, diplomats. I'm afraid you might be a little lost. I, I could potentially provide you with uh, directions, maybe? Yes! Bless you. I will... I'm not sure where you're headed, but you're really not supposed to be here, you know. This is... What? I... Wait, why? What, what is this place? Just... Well, this is... Uh, well, this is a watchtower, but property of the uh, the official, you know, Imperial Army. Uh, we are on a mission to map out the Whispering Woods, you see. Um, so we are just having a final meal. Uh, our scout, and he points at the female uh, elf, uh, Alfred, she just came back with some initial uh, um, uh, scout reports that we're going through after dinner, and tomorrow I think the plan is for all of us to go in and try and map this strange forest out for the first time in history. Quite important. Wow. That, you uh, must even trust each other very much to, to undertake such a precarious tasks oh, with so few people. It's our duty. Oh, and... What did you say the elf's name was, Dutch? Uh, Halfid. H-A-L-F-I-D. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, well, that's, I've already told you more than I should have. Uh, that, that's basically the gist of what I... we're doing here. Um, so where, where do you want to go? Well, this is the thing, and I will... If we still have this bit of paper, I'm going to assume we probably do, that has... Mm -hmm. The insignia of Gone Blades on it, I'll get it from Jax. 
and just sort of half sort of show it to him. And like, so sort of just hold it up, whatever the like fold, like how the fold is, and just yeah. have that sort of insignia. So it doesn't fucking really be like, well, you see, our dish we have is not too much we can tell you either. Um, he looks at it, and this this man looks very like very military man, very very stoic, yeah. you know, strong. Make an insight check. Ooh. Can I insight check him as? Uh, yeah. D don't worry, you'll be fine. That's a thirty-one. Oh my god. Oh fuck. You see for a moment a, f a faint glimmer in his face, almost like his face distorting. Um, and when that distortion clears, he looks normal again. You get the sense that there's something he's not telling you. You know, we... You recognize this symbol. Yeah, 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 of course. Um, I, you I'm would, sorry, I didn't know. You would know that we must know all information that is happening here. Okay. I feel like you're holding something from us. As you say that, his face shifts from this stoic-looking man to just like this distortion happens again, and you see this distorted ghost. Crooked jaw, blank eyes, nose torn off his face, and he looks at Ew. you. One of us betrayed us. I don't remember who, but he killed me asleep. And then the distortion happens again, and his face returns. Sorry, what were you saying again? Who were you again? You were lost, uh, right? They were lost. Yeah. Uh, very, very important people who are lost, and as you know from the symbol I showed you, that. Oh, you showed me this before. And I'll just quickly flash it again for a second, see if his face fucks up. <laughs> oh. If we're going to be in a fucking loop. Oh. <laughs> he looks at it and looks back at you. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you come in. What, what are you, what are you doing? You're not supposed to be here, you know. Okay. Um, inspectors. Uh, watch, watch tower inspection. Um, it's it's an annual random inspection. You should know this. It should be in your paperwork. Um, so yeah, would you be on our way? Or a trees mechanic done least cardinal. And, exactly. Uh, One of those. We're here to ensure that the integrity of this watchtower is not compromised, and nor that of the integrity of the men within it. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Um. um we're just having dinner, right now. Um. So feel free and about to discuss some to inspect. plans. Well, yeah, how do you know? It's part of our job, you see, we know everything. Um. Oh. And he looks, and again, he begins to kind of twitch. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't Professor, hear you come Okay, this is, I, I tell Grim, like... You get the sense that, <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that you've, de you've depleted all information. No, this dialogue. NPC has more dialogue. If I keep on talking to them, he's got another <laughs> line. It's a secret uh, Easter egg. No, there's not much No, more we need to go wrestle the bonfire, come back and talk to him oh, again. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> go to the fire. <laughs> come on. Come on. You cannot rest yeah. now. Enemies nearby. Fuck. Uh, there's three more people at the table. Uh, there's also a yeah. latch in the in the floor that leads to what you assume is a basement, and there's also a way upstairs. It would be a hatch in the floor. A hatch with a latch. Oh, well, there you go. Learn something new. A hatch. There you go. Thank you. I'll go over Is to there the a catch? Three. Shut up. What was that, Bell? I'll go over to the other three. Mm -hmm. Um, The guy we were just talking to, mm -hmm. he, like, did he, like, stand up from where? Yeah, he stood up from his seat, uh, but then sat down again. Okay. I'm just gonna, like, Go over and... Hi! You can call me Cass. What are you guys Are names? you addressing one in particular, or all three of them? All three of them. No reply. Okay, I'm gonna target the one in the middle. Okay, well this is awkward. Because <laughs> there's a table. Is it two, two? There's, there's five seats. <laughs> uh, one at the head, which is where yeah. General was sitting. And there's two yeah. on one side and one on the other side. So the two on the one, one side are the robed individual and the other soldier in plates, and the one on the other side that has a vacant seat next to her is the female female elf lady. elf lady. I'll go sit next to the female elf. Um, okay. What's your name? Oh, hello. I uh, didn't... I don't know you. Um, my name's Halford. Does this General Riddick know 
You're here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We already talked to him. It's fine. Oh, okay. Um, what can I do for you? I'm about to have sort of my dinner, you know, and going over some reports. So I don't know if I can be of any assistance, but um, what can I yeah, do? Yeah, that you? was actually, uh, I wanted to ask you some questions about how long you've been here. Um, I think it's been, uh, well, I've been here the least amount of time because I, um, oh. well, we all arrived together a few weeks ago, but I already made some laps into the first little bits of the woods, scouting, uh, made some reports, and I think tomorrow the plan is for all of us to go together uh, based on the reports that I wrote, and we're going to try and map this place out. It's interesting. Um, right. Why did you go out by yourself? Well, that's my job. I'm a, I'm, I'm a scout. I... I move better alone and, uh, you know, uh, make sure that I they send me out first because I can be quiet and watch from a distance. And uh, mm. when I've learned enough and I deem it safe enough, I come back and report to my squadron and then we all go in together. And you've deemed it safe enough now? The initial areas that I've been in, yes. I, I haven't gone too deep, maybe a couple miles, uh, if, 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 if that. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's Weird a, question. It's what place. year is it? What year is it? Well, you can see your face kind of beginning to distort a little bit. <laughs> the fucking background noise is fucking killing me. I know. I believe <laughs> maybe the year 300. No. Yeah, 386, I believe. Oh, what a strange question. We yeah, to know what I... era it is. <laughs> probably third era, I guess. Well, that's probably second era. Oh, actually, yeah, if there are hundreds. Yeah, no third, because we're only in the 30th year of the fourth, so they got to be at least second era. Cool. Oh, I'm sorry. How... I didn't know, know did you come in. Um, who are you? Nah, it doesn't matter. Don't, don't mind me. And then I'm going to get up and go back to the others. Okay. I want to look at the hatch. I want to... Do you think they look like there used to be there's actually no food on the table that we can see? No, there is. There looks a nice... You know, it's it's a military meal, but um, there, there is food. It doesn't look expired or rotten or anything. Uh, I don't have any way to do this magic thing. That's really... Well, I do, but I don't have it fucking prepared. Really <laughs> annoying. Mm -hmm. I was going to see, like... Can I... Can I see? But, like... Does it so does it look like a standard miniature meal? Does it look like something has been added to it? Like that could be like a poison substance. Uh so the food that they're having. Yeah, it's just like rations. Very simple. There's some bread. Uh you did hear that one of them went downstairs yeah. to go fetch some extra. Uh there's some cheese. And there is this pot of what seems to be some kind of stew <clears throat> in the middle of the table. And each of their bowls are filled with some stew. Yeah, is it the fifth ball said... at the empty chair is also filled with stew? Yeah, all five. Yeah, they it. they I know they said um, <clears throat> they're like attacked in that bowl and see if there's so maybe some sort of reagent been put in the food. Mm -hmm. Take them um, to sleep a little heavier. You were investigating the hatch. Which one? The one that goes down or the one that goes like in the ceiling or the the, the floor, uh, Brooks? The one in the floor. Okay. The guys um, I'll there, I'll right? go over there with Brooks because my plan was I was thinking about just literally going through the floor and going down there so they don't even see the hatch being opened or disturbed and they don't be like, "Hey, you can't go down there" or something. Yeah, it, it seems like it seems like they're there. pretty fixed in there. These are the Disney yeah. animatronics. <laughs> pretty yeah. Much. yeah. Um. So yeah, that 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 hatch opens up just fine. It's not locked or anything. It just looks like your basic hatch. Um. You go towards it or go to touch it. No one seems to be stopping you. Um, so that's there. Uh, is... Davian, what are you doing? Uh, we saw. Sort of... Is there a way up the tower? You said there, that there was a, There's a ladder yeah. in the oh, west wall. It has a ladder. Yeah, okay, okay. Like, in the ceiling. We get up that ladder, boy. Okay. Uh, okay. As you go up the ladder, you do. It does appear that that hatch is locked. Why? <laughs> the upstairs right. one is locked. Yeah. I can um, I can go up there. What is um? I can pick is it. Is doing anything, or is she talking to the remaining ghosts, or what? No, she's not okay. doing much. She's kind of observing. I'll be talking to How... the remaining two ghosts. I think. 
Okay. Mm. Um, which one? The the robed or the the young looking soldier? I will talk to the young looking soldier first. Okay. And I'll just sort of go. Rations again, is this? Uh, looks at you. Oh, hello. Um, yes. Uh, like every night. Um, what's your name? Oh, my name's not important here. It's more important is your name. Nicholas, nice to meet you. How long have you been here? You look fresh-faced. Well, yeah, this is uh, this is my first real mission, really. Uh, I've been, you know, uh, I enrolled in the training regimen uh, when I maybe when I was thirteen or fourteen, but this is my first real gig, I suppose, since I uh, got, you know, got, when it got enlisted. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I think this is, you know. The, Food could be better, but so far... What do you miss bit. about home? Oh, what don't I miss about home? Uh, my family, of course, and, uh, well, can't really beat an ocean breeze, can you? Not at all. Not at all. Where, where is it from? You're from again? I'm from Portugal. Portugal. Lovely place this hmm. time of year. Not far, actually, so I could probably nip home quite soon after we finish our mission. Take some time oh, off. Def oh, definitely. You can take... All the time off you want to watch me. Unless something tragic happened here. And I'm um, gonna try and like ease through his like I'm 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 thrilled to uh <clears throat> you know, this is my first wish mission. I'm I'm thrilled and I'm also very excited for Halfa to be back. Uh, she'd been scouting the, the woods for a while and uh, brought back some information. Um make an inside check, just uh, twenty six. Twenty six. You see some more distortion, similar to when you had a conversation with uh, the general. Do I get a sense of like what is? Is it like certain topics of conversation that make this distortion happen, or is it like this? Hard to tell. It just it's hard to happens. tell. But this distortion happened when he mentioned the return of Halfid. Oh, when did um? How long ago did Halfid return? Um, a couple of hours ago, um, she brought back some information and... What did she find? She... she... she brought... she... she... And the face begins to distort again, and again, when the distortion fades, you can see this ghost missing pretty much the entire right side of his face. She brought back... Something else. A crystal. The what? A crystal. Magical. Dark. Just gonna keep it as a souvenir. No one's supposed to know. And the face. Some of that was just sounds. I'm sorry. Did, oh, what? Did you say a crystal? <laughs> a crystal. A crystal. Oh. <laughs> I thought you said a grizzle. Well, he, you were talking to a ghost that had his entire like night. right hand Half side of his oh, face removed. Oh yeah, it was meant to yeah, be. Yeah, but I've got, he, I've so, got, I've got, but I've got subtitles on because I've got like that thing <laughs> yeah, where I can't yeah, pay yeah, attention. Yeah, yeah. So, so they gotta, said like, Halfid mm -hmm. brought back a crystal. Crystal. So the, yeah. The, okay. And it was dark and not good. I will then. Obviously, we can go talk to other people. We can go do their stuff first. If you want to come back to this, or if you want to just stick with me, <laughs> it's because uh, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go around. For the sake of, for sake of getting all the exposition yeah. out of the way, let's. let's uh, okay, I'm gonna because I'm gonna talk to everyone, including. I think, I'll talk to the mage next. Yeah. The, the okay. lore from the NPCs before we yeah. explore the environment. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm getting getting the lore. I'm gonna drop down. It's like you seem a bit out of sorts from here. Oh, hello. Do I? It's like the get of a soldier, is it? Well, every good army regimen has some magic users on with a hand, right? Oh, indeed. For as, as much damage you can do with a sword and a board. Fireball. In the right situation. Quite useful. That's very true. Plus, they need you? me for my particular set of skills. Given that we're about oh, to yeah. map out a magical forest. I am tasked with... Once I figure out what type of magic controls the forest, I am supposed to make some kind of conjuration to potentially rep either replicate the magic controlling the forest, but also make our job navigating it and mapping it easier. That's why I'm here. 
I'm sure there's all kinds of secrets in that forest. Both light... Well, I both don't know. Lightning and dark I kind. don't know yet. Halford just returned tonight with her initial reports, so I'm, I'm, I'm keen to, to learn what she's brought back and get started. I'm sorry, who are you? Oh, that's not important. Um... Part of the major see you you barely see routine inspection. Um, <laughs> what's important here is obviously if you locate any sort of magical secrets, you'll obviously let the Empire know, won't you? You see the face distort. Yes, yes, of course. And if anybody else sounded anything, they would surely say like any crystals or make an inside check. I've got passive insight of 24, just saying, but you yeah, know. You no, know, we're rolling for this shit. Oh, <laughs> passive... it's only a 16. Only a 16. It's literally the second lowest I can roll. Fucking I rolled a 2 hell. in the die. <laughs> Love the face plus 14 to insight. distorts, and it is just a skull. Oh, that's oh, just a lovely. ghostly skull. Completely mm. just Ghost skin Rider. gone. How interesting. I can sense I'm no longer here, yet I am. What happened to me? Who are you? I need to finish my work. I need to finish my spell. We need to finish our spell. And the source snaps again and he looks at, looks at you what again. What was that one's name? Sorry, who are you? What did he say? What was your name? Alonis. Uh, I'm just gonna walk away. <laughs> I'm like, okay, guys, that's gonna be good. And I'll talk to the elf as well. So let's talk. Uh, back to Halford. Yeah. Oh, hello. I didn't see you uh, come in. Um, who are you? Oh, routine inspection. Oh, very nice. Um, what can I do for you? Uh, you know, just making sure mm -hmm. nothing, you know. Magical's been found in these forests here. You know, we got a, the Empire have got a keen interest in just making sure that uh, everything that's found there is reported. Julie? Oh. Well, I, I I just returned from scouting and I've made my reports. If you want to join us for to discuss them, I'm, I'm sure General Riddick won't mind. And again, you can of see course. some distortion kind of happening. Oh, of course. I mean, anything that you found there would surely be in these reports and you wouldn't be hiding anything from us. Make an insight check. Uh, 22. The face completely shifts, and you can see that this ghostly face looks relatively intact, but you can see that where her throat is, just this giant yeah. slit. Yeah. And just like dried blood, kind of still dripping yeah. down the neck. Found a crystal. A dark crystal. Feels magical. I know I shouldn't have taken it, but I couldn't resist. No one can know. No one except Nicholas. Mm. Which the crystal? Fuck. <laughs> oh, Where's the crystal? <laughs> I'll just. Like, no. I'm not here. I'll just turn around and walk up. <laughs> I'm not here. All right. I'll cast exposition to the group. Okay. And just be like, well, that mage one sure is shifty as fuck. Um. <laughs> Davian. Yeah. As you go towards the ladder, I forgot to mention this. Uh, what's your passive oh, perception? Okay. Oh, weird. 17. <clears throat> so basically you climb up and you kind of realize, oh, this, this one is locked. And as you kind of like look back down, you see faint shimmer and distortion happening kind of on top of the empty chair at the table. It's a weird... On top of the chair. Well, basically just like, like kind of hovering like... above the seats. Okay. Like as if there might be someone sitting there we can't see. You Maybe kind of so. notice that from like the corner of your eyes. You're kind of looking back down. As I, so I'll come back down the ladder and it's still there. It's still this little... Yeah. Can I interact with it? Can I touch it? You want to try and touch it? Yeah. Okay. As you uh -oh. touch it, you suddenly have this vision. Oh, friends are all gone, and you can see these soldiers actually at the table, not the ghosts, but they're actual, the actual people. And there's the individual, you get a cutscene. 
there's a fifth individual <laughs> sitting in the chair. And he uh, gets up and walks towards the hatch that goes downstairs. You guys want some more bread? No? Well, I do. I'll be right back. And he opens the hatch, goes down. Upon doing that, uh, the ghost wearing, or the, the soldier wearing the robes, um, stands up and, and says, I'm quickly going to grab something from upstairs. Uh, I'll be back in a second. And then the general gets up, and uh, Nicholas as well, and uh, look at each other. I'm going to quickly go for a, for a piss in a smoke outside. Nicholas, you coming? And they both leave through the front door. And then your vision kind of comes back and you're back in the room with how it is now. It's like you you interacted with some kind of magical memory remnants. fragment acquired. Like pretty much, yeah. Like there's some kind of yeah. memory of uh, of what happened. Like a But I couldn't see what happened. When when the ro robed individual said, "I'm going to go upstairs, uh, upstairs, whatever," mm -hmm. it kind of cut, cut short before I could witness him go um, up the ladder. Well, you saw him go up the ladder, and he just opened the hatch. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't so it wasn't locked. locked. No. Okay. Where? Okay. Where was his the robed guy's seat at the table, which was his? Uh, next to where the young Pipsqueak soldier was. So on. Um... Like, let's say, for the sake of... Is there production. anything on the table? Right. Yeah, just full-on, like, dinner spread. Oh, is there a key anywhere near the seat in which the road one was sitting? Uh, make an investigation check. I got my eyes of my neat seeing, so... Oh, and they saved me! Mm-hmm. With a 19 on the die, it's a 21 altogether. Okay. Um, you kind of go over this guy's area uh, and kind of oh. like lean through the you know the spiritual remnants of him a little bit. You know, you can see that you could completely just phase through. Yeah. Uh, and you notice that uh, near where his cup is, there's a small iron key on the table. Taking that key, baby. And I'm going up the ladder. Um, cool. Yeah, you unlock the hatch and you you fully like you open it up. You fully climb up. Uh, I mean, I'll I'll poke my head in and have a little look around first. Okay, just your initial looks look around this place is this yeah. seems to be, uh, the like sleeping quarters. You can see five armor stands, five beds, five like chests at the foot of the beds. That's that's your first glance. Um. Okay. People, so that's, I think that was Daigon and Brooks at the hatch that goes downstairs. What are you doing? Hello. Yeah, I'll go. Yeah. Going down? Go with Brooks. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Down oh, the don't. hatch. Yeah, so as you go down uh, the hatch, uh, the, there's a, a, a small ladder leading to the basement of this tower. Uh, there, it seems to be partially a storage room and partially a training room. Um, looking around, all the supplies seem to be intact, looking good. Uh, there's not much, there's a couple of boxes. You can see uh, a fifth ghost. This ghost, looking a lot like the ghost that kind of instructed you when you arrived. And Daigon, the ghost that you saw the night before. Mm -hmm. um, and he's sitting on a crate and looks at you, but almost like looking straight through you. Did you through us. Do you find any bread? Oh yes. Uh yeah, I'm here for bread. Um do you want some who are you? Staying over for supper? We're yeah, we're we're just here for supper. Uh, what's your, <laughs> what's your name again? Uh, Rodri. Nice to meet you. While Brooks is talking to him, mm -hmm. <clears throat> is there anything else that looks out of place in this basement? Or, and if not, then also I want to go look at where he's getting the bread from. And mm -hmm. does any of the bread look like it's maybe been, like, tampered with or anything? Like, poisoned or drugged or even if it's just expired? <laughs> uh, make an investigation check. Uh, 
I've only rolled single digits today. Hmm. Uh, that's a seven. Uh, pff, like bread. Okay. Um, Brooks, are you talking to this ghost? What is, uh, yeah. what's, what's I go, going on? I'm going to like smell the bread and realizing, oh yeah, I'm a ghost right now. I can't touch it, and I have no sense of smell. And you just re you see me reach out and just oh. <laughs> Can the ghost smell? That's a good question. <laughs> I can't. I don't think. So you uh, you guys are here to map out the the woods, right? How do you know? Just know things. Don't worry about it. <coughs> yes, I. I um. Yes, that's what we're doing. I remember. You can see him kind of beginning to distort and twitch. Um. Make an insight check. What happened, Rodri? Ooh, that, ooh. Uh, ooh, okay, 16. Is that what you ask? What happened, Rodri? Yep. <clears throat> oh. Is. He fades for a moment and then he returns, but this time he's standing in, like, like, beside you. You can see that his face is fine, but you can see three stab wounds in his back and four more in his chest all seeping with blood i don't understand we all went so fast we were on the same side we just and he looks over to a corner of the room like i'm pretty like staring at it we're on the same side and he begins to twitch again and kind of resets to his chin near the those stab wounds. Are we talking like sword stab wounds or like dagger stab wounds? That uh, look like daggers Ooh. to you. Like smaller. Okay. And he was staring pretty intently at a corner before he um, reset, so to say. Can we go look around in that corner and see yeah. if there's anything? Like any discarded weapons or something hidden or a trap door or a right, secret so area? Make, uh, make a perception check. What we're asking, for the sake of my sanity, uh, so Alonis oh had like half his face missing. What? Alonis had half his face. No. Uh, Nicholas had like half his face missing. Yes. Alonis. Yeah, just, was talking just about the spell. Just a, he was just a skull. Rodri had been stabbed. Stabbed. What had happened to fucking uh, Riddick and Halfid? Uh, how fit a throat cut? Yeah. yeah, one of them had slashed. And the other one had, like, uh... Wasn't it, like, face caved in slightly? Like, he had, like, stabbed in his face? Well, no, like, half his, he, like, dislocated, stabbed, right? Dislocated jaw. Oh, dislocated jaw, that's probably right. Uh, and like, Riddick no, said he was nose killed ripped in his off sleep. his face. He was killed in his sleep. So it was Allegedly. someone else that was here. No, but it can't be. They said that was one of us unless it was another soldier like not one of these five but someone who was a these soldier. Are, these guys have all died here yeah unless ooh, was there any damage to halford other than the cutthroat i mean i'm probably thinking the one that didn't have any fucking stab wounds we just had they're like which is now bone Skull. you know yeah. the mage man the mage yeah. maybe. Um, Laura, what'd you roll for and then he's the one who said they were working a spell <clears throat> Laura wanted to go look in the corner. Yeah, what did you, what did you roll yeah. session? Eight. I've only rolled single digits all session. Um, Fucking useless. I'll be nice, and I'll say that you have advantage, because obviously, go there looking, knowing that there's something supposed to be there, because that ghost was so intense okay. staring at it. So I'll yeah. give you advantage. I, I only improved by two, so now it's a ten. That's enough. <laughs> That's just enough. Oh, um, thank fuck. <laughs> you... Uh, see this this flicker of, of kind of distortion and some kind of mm -hmm. strange ripplings in the corner of the room. I'll go ahead and touch it, seeing that mm -hmm. Davian had a vision above, so I'm just hoping the same thing happens to me. As you touch it, you also have a vision. You see Rodri kind of leaning forward grabbing some loaves of bread out of the um, out of the uh, crate 
you can see a man completely made of shadow still wearing the like wearing some kind of empire regalia but it's very hard to tell two yeah. shadowy horns with bright white eyes stabbing this stabbing rodri in the back who then turns around eyes wide and just gasping before getting stabbed multiple times in the chest and as rodri falls over forward two more blades go in his back okay That's when you, your vision ends back okay i'll tell brooks that when you say two more blades went in his back like he got stabbed an additional two times when he fell from forward the same figure huh from the same figure yeah the same guy okay. just, just stabbed just his guy clarifying. like seven odd times just clarifying the way you phrased it could have been interpreted as other people stabbed him as well now see i immediately think to me and things that brooks like this suggests especially some of the others this one is the most like emotion invested killing someone else like you know single throat cut head bashed in this is like lots of stabbing that suggests generally like crime of passion or that there was something more to it than like this execution seems different from the others oh, so i wonder if that's an angle to look like, into their face torn off i don't know man. yeah one of them had their face <laughs> completely gone i mean one, one of them had like like his head's been caved in that's fairly but i sort of get where you're going maybe this one was an opportunistic one while he was alone and the others were more Man. But even opportunistic, you go in, he could have come up behind him and slit his throat. Like, there's another one with slit throat. Why was this one stabbed seven times? And only that he wanted him to see him. Because he stabbed him in the back, and then, he, and then he turned him around to make sure he saw who his killer was. Mm -hmm. To me, that seems I'm very gonna, personal. But in here and say that he, he turned didn't get around. turned He turned around himself. He got stabbed oh, in the back, okay, okay, he then okay. turned around, eyes wide, and then I just kept stabbing. Okay. That's, okay. <clears throat> Maybe he was just a dickhead. Yo, can we take a break? Yes. Uh, real quick, make a history check, uh, Daigon. Oh dear. Okay. Fucking Winnie the Pooh ass. Uh, another single digit six. All right, good to know. Um, yeah, I guess before I Davian explores the upstairs a little bit more, or potentially all of you go, uh, we'll take a break here. I need to go walk my dogs anyway, so that's a good time. I gotta poop. So. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we'll take a break here, and we'll continue. Invest in McGuyton in a few minutes. Uh, yeah, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.
Hello. 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 You did. If you left jelly babies at Laura's house, how could you? Yeah, we did. Forgot about him. Like, we forgot about him and then they forgot him as well, I guess. Um. Hey, he was too busy having a good time with his friends. Gross. Did you, did you finally finish off the Tim Hortons hot chocolate? We're back. Did you finish off the fiber gummies? Did you finish off. The other did I leave any edibles? Yeah, Probably. We, we left edibles. You, you did with me. <laughs> All right. Back to it, shall we? So, damn. Some five milli vanilli ed Eddie Vedders. <laughs> uh, Davion. So you That's me. kind of initially peeked around, uh, peeked your head out of the, the, the hatch, the floor, looking over the next uh, section of this tower. Uh, what do you do? Looks like the sleeping quarters. Are there any ghostly presences? Um, any of my spirit box? Hmm. Make a perception check. I need my uh, electromagnetic... Uh, my my EMF, EMF reader. I... Uh, what, what perception? Yes. Fourteen. You look around and don't see any ghosts there. Uh, like I said, what you do see is these five armor stands, five beds, five chests. Um, this seems to be the sleeping quarters for the inhabitants of the tower. Uh, the room looks empty. The chests are all kind of open. The lids are all, like, opened up. You don't see any ghosts. No ghosts, no wisp, like, like, little presences. Is... Okay, can... I'll move on up. I'll move on in. Okay. Is there anything when you need him? about the... I'm. Oh, oh I, I keep forgetting that there's like an illu, like not illu, but you know, it looks as it was. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that indicates that one of these beds might belong to the cloaked man, the um, robed man, I should say? As you kind of look around, <laughs> um, make another perception check. Okay. Fucking Jesus. Uh, uh, twelve. You look around and you kind of like, at a glance, look at the chests. So you can see that all of them have stuff in it. And one of them mm -hmm. seems to have a couple sets of bulbs. And the rest of them. I would like to have a more thorough rummage through that man's belongings. What? <laughs> um, yeah. Make yep. an investigation check. Oh. And oh. given that you you know you're going up close, you have advanced because your eyes of mine. Yeah. Seeing, right? Twelve. Okay. As you go through this man's belongings, you suddenly see that at the bottom of this chest, like underneath some of the robes, there is another another shimmer. Hmm. Okay, I touch the shimmer. All right, and as you do so, you see a shadowy figure climbing up. A shadowy figure with these these dark horns and bright white eyes climbing up the hatch into the chamber, kind of looking around, looking over the chests, and then not reaching into the chest that you're fiddling with. But the chest beside it. Okay. And he takes out a black crystal mm. from the chest. The dark crystal. The crystal. I knew she was hiding something from us. This will come Is in. Is he handy. a Jim Henson puppet? This time to welcome our friends. And he takes the crystal. And your vision fades. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, can I go look in that chest? Sure. You see, this chest has uh, some an extra set of leather armor, indicating that you know, there was only one leather wearer downstairs, so this probably 
Alfid's chest. Uh, you don't find a crystal. Uh, what you do find are some notes. Let me have a little look, see what these notes say then, okay. eh? What are you hiding, Halfid? Um, These notes seem to be things she's written down on her scouting efforts in the woods. And mm -hmm. it does... There is a, a part that states that she found a mysterious black crystal in a hollowed-out tree stump, which she thought was very odd. And that... For some reason, she couldn't explain. She knew she shouldn't have taken it, but she felt compelled. Mm. Always a good sign. Love that. Mm. Favorite. Mm -hmm -hmm. <laughs> so, okay. Timeline. Halfid goes out of the woods, finds a dark crystal in a hollowed out tree stump, brings it back, Puts it in the footlocker. No. Well, tells someone else about it. Well, maybe, maybe oh, she it brought it back. Course. No, no. Puts it in the footlocker. Then, horned demon with bright white eyes shows up and takes it. Uh, I thought it was Davian. robed guy who came in the vision to see she had Davian. it. It was the robed Can caster you man. Make me a history check. I'm not using these fucking dice. I'm using this one. I was saying, my dice have been fucking me all day, so I think I need to use a different set. Oh, I rolled a natural 19, which means it's a 21. Beautiful as hell. You've seen a being like this before, a long time ago, but suddenly... Dude, my music just got, like, so perfect right now. Something clicks. <laughs> this shadowy figure looks to be of the same species as the shadow demon that you all fought when Sai was a company. Uh -huh. hmm. oh, no. Let me just flip. Way back so, then. this is like in, the Shadow like, Demon in came. In real life, this is like two years ago when you last encountered Shadow Demon. Yes. <laughs> in game, it's been a when, little more recent. But... Yeah. <laughs> in game, a few months. <laughs> yeah, but, but in real life, I went back through my notes and like when Vincent guessed it as Sai was 2022. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. We're so old. <laughs> so, Halford finds Dark Crystal. Shadow Demon takes Dark Crystal. Somewhere in between those two events, everyone got stabbed. They all got stabbed after Dark Crystal. After it was found. Yeah, or after um, it was taken by the demon. I don't... That we don't know. We don't well, know that's that what bit. I'm saying. Step by one... Way, we, step, know step one she, we know that she... Step one, Halfid finds crystal. Some... Yeah, step, brings it back. Question mark, demon takes crystal. Yeah. Somewhere here, everyone was stabbed. Yeah. 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 Also, demon's or name happened is... Afterwards. Demon's name is Malik, yeah. if that helps. Like, if we're asking questions. M-A-L-E-K. Zane Malik? It's M-A-L apostrophe. Oh, okay, oh. I forgot the apostrophe. Um, to be, you know, you know, if we're going to spell things out, I might as well correct it. Yeah. <laughs> when when, when it speaking in, in High Valyrian, it's a part of me. You don't hear your parts of me, but it's there in the tones. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so at some point, at some point as well, the elf tells the young soldier that she found it. So either, so, so either someone overheard or he told. Well, and also, didn't they say someone's like, we have to finish our spell? Maybe they used the crystal to summon this demon and then. No, because the demon took the crystal. So it, it went. Yeah. It went the demon's I like, have thanks, to, but... I have to finish my spell. And then he corrected himself, saying, we have to finish our spell. That's so maybe he, he was under. Oh, and we know the demon puts people in thrall because the oh. demon used to have Fear Krog under his yeah. thrall way back when. Yeah, way, way back uh, when. So maybe Demon then corrupted one of them. Or he's made up. Or he's a war kill everyone. Act or something. Or, me what they're all like, why did they do this? Why did they betray us? Because yeah. they were enthralled to a demon. Or it's multiple, like, yes, we've only seen one shadowy person, but maybe it was a different person who stabbed each person. Yeah. Right? 
like we don't know if it's the same person who did the stabbing yeah. and it could be that it's corrupted to different people and they've all kind of stabbed each other whilst like when well, the first one he got stabbed then comes back up stabs someone else they then come back up stab someone else as they've okay, all been corrupted Dutch isn't that smart rude <laughs> <laughs> Pretty, pretty no, rude but thing to that's say. That's why not be. It's someone on DM's guild that he read this from, might be. Bro, I, that's offensive. Dude, okay. <laughs> I thought, I thought, that, I thought I was throwing a love what blow. The fuck? Oh. Comes up with that. This, this entire storyline came out of my brain. Thank you very much. I know. We're very impressed. Well, well done. Fuck I you. Touch giving like a little like this money. I'm joking. Came what? out of my brain. My brain that I... googled. Now, alas, we're gonna die. Ghost Someone's murder mystery me. tower. Alas, we're gonna die. We are gonna die yeah. in this tower. Dutch, for the sake. We are joking, by the way. Case. You're going to die, die. you orc. <laughs> anyway. We appreciate your storytelling. We don't think yeah, you actually Googled it. We just yeah. have a mute Koiba. However, it's funny. Mm. It was funny. <laughs> it's it, funny. Was, it was funny. Yes. Carry on. Mm. Carry on. Um, is I've been watching so much Game of Thrones, dude, oh <laughs> and it's all just like this in there, man. Has anything changed since you've been investigating those two places? Has anything changed in the main room? Um, are you still just sitting in dinner? They are still sitting, sitting there eating dinner. <laughs> <laughs> you mm. good that dude? No. I'm thinking okay. thonking. Does it look like say there's multiple floors? Uh um, going up? Or is it just like one big? Look like it could be two, maybe three from the outside. Basement, main floor, um, up these stairs. That is is there another say, is, like, are, is everyone up there now at this point? Like is this I think we've probably have reconvened, yeah. right? Yeah. We've grouped yeah. back up. We're going to group back up either in the middle floor or if we've or if Devin's gone, I found a thing. We would have gone upstairs too. I found a thing. I mean, is there anything else up there to to? I mean, I could go through all the foot lockers, but um, when the rest of you get up there, um, for those entering that area for the first time, make a perception check. No, uh, twenty-four. Hey, a double digit, seventeen. Huh? A Perception. Oh, exciting. <laughs> Uh, 27. 7. What was that, uh, Ethan? Sorry? A 13. I didn't see shit. Mm -hmm. Uh, Kess. That's me. As you're all kind of gathered up there, as you're kind of looking around the room, not really seeing anything, and you make your way back to the hatch to climb back down, you suddenly see a shimmer that everyone else seems to have missed. 24 um, missed that? That's bullshit. <laughs> What the fuck? I'm rewarding the highest roll in this case. Okay? Fuck you. Okay. Um, yeah, fuck. Fuck. You see a faint shimmer. <laughs> kind of like... Right... Um... On the side of the room where the hatch is, against one of the walls. I'm gonna go over to it. Okay. Do you do anything with it? Uh... Like, wave my hand in it. Okay. As you do so, you don't get a vision, but instead, oh. a new ladder kind of, like, apparates in front of you, leading up another floor. I'm climbing. I'll follow Kess if I see her no. going somewhere new. Okay. Thanks, thanks, Kess. Do you all uh, climb up it? Yar. Yeah, sure. Entering that room, the air immediately shifts. It is ice cold up there. You can see your own breath as you breathe in and out. And before you stand, a blackened obelisk with a black crystal attached to it on top. Uh. Ominous black smoke emanating from it. And standing before oh, it stands a skeleton dressed in empire robes. And it is not facing you, but you hear a voice. Hundreds of years. It took you mortals hundreds of years to figure out something is happening at this tower. Nothing lasts forever, I suppose. Alec, 
did what you asked. That's right. I got the name right. Everything you made me do. Did you put the apostrophe in there? <laughs> yes, I did. I did this time. Everything you made me do. Kill my fellows. Raise them. To fight each other. Using their flesh. Sacrificial components to our rituals. But you got what you wished. Now please. Set me free. And the room begins to kind of shake. And he just kind of like tilts his head down. I see. And he turns around to face you. What it's worth. I am sorry. And the skeleton begins to creak, and the skull detaches from its body, and its eyes begin to glow like green crystals. Layers of black flame engulf the entirety of the skull. And I would like you all to roll initiative. Yo, we are fighting Ghost Rider. <laughs> Technically, you're fighting a demi -link. <clears throat> No way, I just napped yeah. when you're on initiative. We uh, can befriend him, just like we said at the minute. start. <laughs> My fucking tailspire crashed, guys. Give me a sec. Sorry, yeah, I don't want to take part in this combat anyway. Tailspire always does is when I like have been tabbed out for too long and I try to tab back in, it just fucking crashes. So let me just relaunch it. Don't tab out, lol. Right. Don't just crash. Time to roll 50 dice without getting in trouble. Hold on. I think it ought to be I... you guys. Maybe. No, I'm. Oh. Yeah, yeah. waiting for yeah, GM. Yeah, waiting on GM. Oh. No. Oh. Are you sure? <laughs> Guess what, guys? <laughs> I rolled my usual single digit Garbo initiative. I rolled with advantage and same. rolled the very same number, like very similar number next to each other. Yay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought I rolled bad, but hey, at least I'm doing better than Laura. You will, 100%. <laughs> Give me double digit Segundo boys. I'm loading back in. One. I'm gonna swap maps and stuff. Man, you're fucking original and funny, aren't you? I mean, that's, dude, that's what? such a classic Koiba joke. Like, if you ask where something is and he goes, I'll be but good left. It's like, dude, just fucking go away and don't come back, please. <laughs> just get lost, bro. <laughs> right, uh, let me summon you to the board. We do a little trolling. Uh, don't summon me. Yo! It's cool, okay? Uh, Yo. Lamppost Yo. indoors? Mmm. Kind of oh, sus. If I, could, if I could not see the walls, that'd be great. But I'll just move around. I'll figure it out. Um, yeah, we'll see. No Onu, unfortunately. No Onu? Onu's outside. No. Oh, He's right. a bud. Right. I'll take him off the thing then. Dude, uh, Sprite gets me. It's always gets me Sprite. All it's one. always Sprite. Uh, Soko's not here, so I'm Jax from the thing as well. What's up, Lord? Well, all of a sudden. Well, uh, on the right-hand side, the little green thingy. Where is that for you? Like, how high? Nine point... Uh... Set that to, like, 9.3 and then just lock it. Oh. It was at 9.3 and then... Oh. It's already locked at 9.3. Oh. Well, 9.3. Anyone else having issues? Because I see everything. I do. I... What, are we, what are we locking at 9.3? The like, I, height I, indicator of the thing. Uh, I mean, I see, like, I see the tower top. Doi, no, like, all just... of my player things are weird. Yeah, too. all the players like, are just... gone. I'm gonna just rejoin real quick. What the fuck? I might do that too. No, that's the same I... for everyone. Wait, hold on. Everyone just... disappeared. What if, I, what if I give you control of your characters? Give me a sec. But I can't I see any characters. They're all the gone. Room, like... Did anything change? Oh, oh, double, oh. double click on the green thing. That worked for me. Oh, now. they're back now. They're back now. I can see them. I can't move my character, but I can see Oh, them. I see. Yeah, I'm giving oh, you control. I see. I'm giving you control. Oh. I see. I see. Uh, oh, Yay. yeah. What are you doing? Are you <laughs> Brooks is having... You never a seen moment. that. You never, you never seen the twelve. <laughs> all right. You should all have control of your characters now. Uh, yeah, let's get some yeah. fucking initiative Little going. Wiggle. Surprise, surprise. On, I'm well, I'm waiting. Do... Uh, I think I fucked it. Hold on, I gotta do one uh, thing. What are you doing? I think I, fu I think I fucked it by rejoining. Oh, you did? Yeah. Hold on, I gotta quickly just, for the sake of this, I'm making this thing a fucking token, just so that I can indicate the lair in initiative. Oh, the lair action, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't see this. I just see a, a, a one single skull. Is that supposed to be the yeah. Demi Lich? Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. The skull Demi from the body and the Demi Liches are literally just a skull. I'm just checking, just making sure I'm not like 
glitched I out and so. not seeing a body or anything. You're, all spo you're I'm only supposed out. to see a floating skull. Okay. Duke isn't in the game. <laughs> I'm rejoining again. Just so. okay. I'll be trying turning you off and back on again. That's an awfully hot awesome coffee pot. Shut down, Bill Johnny Chong. Hey, pot and What the? You good, uh, Duke? You like a nut in the pot? Stop! You, uh, you in, Duke? <laughs> I'm waiting on GM. Oh, I, I probably have to resummon you. Give me a sec. Uh, <clears throat> yo, summon me? Summon players to board. There you go. Yo, summon me? You good? Remember that one? Oh, summon me? Remember right? that one, Dodge? Yeah, I do. Yo. Yeah, some of me. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, I'm good. I'm oh, in. Wow, prepatch next week, bro. New expansion next month. Um, what? right. For what? Huh? Initiative 20. Or New more. wow expansion. Stop it, Corey. Oh. Natural 20 for a total of 28, bitch. Uh, oh. Yeah, all right. Anyone else? No. Okay. Fun. 15 to 20. Funny. Okay. You funny. <laughs> 10 to 15. 12. 12. I mean, Brooks is higher decks. Wrong. Oh, really? Mm, not necessarily. Mine's 17, baby. Oh, okay. Yours, uh, Ethan? 16. There you go. Okay. Oh, shit. Isn't uh, it weird that, like, he anyone... gets to go first because he rolled worse than me? Anyone else 10 to 15? Which means? Nope. Okay. 5 to 10? Well, on five each occasion, you rolled the same. 7 and 5. <laughs> All right. Yay! Navian. Girls stick together. Yeah, <laughs> yes, what do you want to do? <laughs> girls let us die first. Yeah. Um. Look at the little skull, dude. He's so um, cute. Look at the little guy. The little guy. He's just a little guy. He's just a uh, little toy York. Uh, <laughs> all right. I knew him. I knew him well. Forsooth! <laughs> yeah? That's the name of the new character, is Tooth. Forsooth! Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, can I. Can I cast Hold Monster? <laughs> Certainly try. Oh. Excuse uh, you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Can you go? Okay. The wisdom save you said. Uh, no. Eighteen. Nope. I'm lying. For Twenty-four. Sorry, I was looking at the oh. thing. But... I was looking at just straight wisdom stat, not the saving. Oh, but he has a saving throw stat. Yeah, so well, uh, that just saves. Oh, saves. Hmm. Funny that. Twenty-two, Crazy. right? Uh. My D and D Beyond's being stinky. Good old paper character. Maybe. <laughs> oh, fucking. Sp Spill some coffee on it. See what happens then. <laughs> no, it's not even a joke. <laughs> How could you? I can coffee on it then. Twat. <laughs> uh, 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 so good. Yeah, it makes if it I age. Ca oh, okay, but... if I cast a spell mm -hmm. using the Staff of Power. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's an action to cast it, right? Right, but does that... Per okay, what the fuck is that? Um... Does that mean I can't? I still can't. I can't cast another spell as a bonus action. No. Cross is the only one spell a turn threshold. If you. Yes. And yes, you can. And yes, you can. Yes. All those bonus action cantrips exist, like um. Uh. I don't know. I can't name one off the dome. I'm not gonna lie. No, True Strike's an action. That's the only one I think. <laughs> True Strike should be a... Oh, Magic, Magic Stone. Or Shillelagh. Oh. oh. <laughs> Powerhouses of the cantrip. <laughs> oh. Magic Stone is Pog, right? I won't hear any Magic Stone slander. <laughs> oh, yeah, shit, you had that fucking character, didn't you? Right. Uh... 
And usually in times like these, I would command Onu. Yeah, you would. But instead, Which... I'm going to do nothing. <laughs> and that's my turn. <laughs> Man. Okay. Um, on. Kes, I forgot one thing. Uh oh. You were the first one to enter oh. the demi lair. Oh no. Bad oh, things about to fucking happen to you. Oh dear. I guess. I get to befriend him? You take yeah. nine, nine points in the of damage. <laughs> Yay! That's, that's, like, that's that... almost the same. That's the friendship damage type. Do you know Necrotic? The it's the friendship damage, damage type. Yeah. yeah. The first time I you take game. enough. The first non-evil creature to enter. Uh, no, I don't know if Kess is not evil or not. Hang on. <laughs> Shut up. Hang on. Hang on. Um, it is now. Davian, that was your turn, right? Yes. Yeah, it is now mm. initiative count twenty. So it is the lair action. And the demi lich looks at Elazrin. Why me? <laughs> Because and you will cleric boy, he senses you can do you radiant damage. His crystalline eyes begin to glow. And an anti-magic field completely covers you and follows you around. Oh, oh no. no. Oh no. Oh, oh, you no. lost it. You're useless now. <laughs> Does that include magical oh. items? You say if it's anti like a if anti magic like a... field. Does that? Then yes. yes. So, it so it's does, like right? it's like a second um, skin like coating a Lazarin, or is it like a very small like bubble? bubble. Like it's just does it affect anyone else? Uh, no, just a Lazarin, like just the space he's okay. in. Um, okay. Oh. The area is, is it's like divorced when you get a from the magical rain cloud energy that diffuses the multiverse. Within the anti-magic field, spells can't be cast. Summoned creatures disappear. Even magic items become mundane. Follow-up question on this then. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh, no. because does stuff like, to... okay, no, never mind. I was gonna say like, Mr. Spells, Plate, and other, that mag spells and other magical effects, except those created by a deity directly are suppressed and can't protrude into it. Uh, it's time to pray. Okay. But this, well, okay. Cast a suppressed spell is consumed. So like, it doesn't function, but the time it spends suppressed counts against its duration. So like my luck stone no longer works. Correct. Mm -hmm. My mithril plate still works because that's just uh, is it metal. Magic, is it a magic item? No, it's just plate armor. It's just armor. Okay. Yeah. And yes. That's so similar. it's uh, it's mithril because the, 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 the only thing that makes it special is because mithril is the metal. It's a light, flexible metal. So I'm just making. I'm just having a see what the, what is. I'm, I'm here. looking, and if I look at the end of beyond, everything decides mithril armor is a magic. Oh, if yeah, if it if. Yes. It is an uncommon, Mithril play, it, it is does an not uncommon say. magic item. Yeah. The, the, com just... the comments in D&D Beyond are saying it's listed under a magical item. Because it's magic that makes the Mithril so light but so strong, so I guess. It's not like technically it's a magic tool. item, bro. Technically a magic but item, bro. But it's not natural. I'm sorry, but that also no work. He's found the oh, counter to a Lazarin. You're useless now. I have an interesting question when no, it gets to my turn. No, because I need to know. I need to see what my fucking AC is now. Mm -hmm. Well, no, because what is your what is your armor? What sort of mithril is it? It's plate. Mithril full plate. Yeah. What's your strength? No, that doesn't. No, that that's what I'm saying. It doesn't have a strength requirement when I'm wearing yeah, mithril but plate. Is, but so now it does. So I'm everything's at disadvantage <laughs> because oh. I. I my strength's eight, dude. Oh, <laughs> enjoy figuring that out. Uh, it is now the Demi Lich Alonis. This is turn. <laughs> <laughs> where where is the anti magic field? Me. It is only just on me. a Lazarin. On a Lazarin. Just me. Picture like Lazarin. in Winnie. Picture like I mean, in Winnie. Makes, if it makes you feel better. About I'm wearing an anti. Like there is just I'm this, this an anti magic zone. Go fuck yourself. No magic allowed zone. Or stuck my... to his skin essentially. Or you know how in like cartoons or like in Winnie the Pooh when they get a personal little rain cloud and it's only raining on them, like Pretty just much. in that like, little the, space. Winnie that's the Pooh mentions happening. in one. I'm section. I'm in the anti magic condom right now. Okay, fucking nothing. I have two things. Uh, number one, uh, Crawford specifies that it's a magic item on Sage okay. Advice. Cool. Number two, if it makes you feel better, Craig, yeah, because your mithril armor is now just plate armor, yeah, you wouldn't be able to cast spells while wearing it anyway. 
Oh, oh there you well. go. <laughs> <laughs> I just think the protection bonus of it, um, like whatever the fuck it is. This Demi Lich yeah. is going to. Uh, mm -mm -mm. Not be a dick. Oh my god. Okay. Approach. Uh, and oh. I need everyone to make oh. a constitution saving throw as it lets out oh. this howl. Oh, dude, I, I was this close to saying, remember, if you're within 10 feet of me, you get plus five to the right. saving throw. <laughs> That's it. That was the last roll with these dice. These Wrong dice are going away. Okay. Which dice are going throw? away. Uh, you all need no. to make a con save. I need I, it's very up. bad. Natural 20! What happens if wearing armor that's too heavy? <laughs> Nothing for... Oh, you no. fall to the floor. Uh, you and you're like a turtle damage. that can't move. <laughs> I'm, I don't know about... Sleep. I think it's only saving throws that require dex or strength that you have disadvantage on. I think for a roll, but I mean... Just roll, roll con as normal. Okay. Uh, is this a spell, Dutch? Or is this no. an ability? ability? Fuck's sake. Fuck me. I fail. I don't Not even care what the, the DC is. I fail. <laughs> I rolled that bad. Uh, con, that's a, that's a, a seven. Okay. Uh, Could be a five DC, in? guys. Whoa. Oh. Uh, Brooks? <laughs> Seventeen. Seventeen? Dragon? Seven. Okay. Um, Lazarin? Mm hmm. You don't have to roll. Because <laughs> magical effects cannot. Oh, don't the affect me. Field. That's so the one oh, that's true. Uh, those who rolled less than 15, you dropped a zero hit point. <laughs> Dutch, I have a, a question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Slash clarification. Hold on. Oh, God, dying going to zero. I'm perma dead. I'm pretty sure that just insta perma deads me because I don't do death saves as a lingering soul. Let me check. <laughs> uh, we, I think we've we've had this talk before, and for the sake of gameplay and not wanting to just. Oh no! Uh, you no, still. I, I do death saves, but if I fail death death saves, saves, if you feel I'm death saves, that's that's perma That's what it is. But you still yeah. get death saves. Um, yeah. So yeah, those okay. that roll less than fifteen, uh, uh, you drop to zero hit points and go unconscious. Yeah. Yeah, it says, but should you fail three death saving throws, your spirit withers away into the ether and but your soul is cast in the vaults of the underworld. I can't give Dragon a potion. No, you can't, because I can't drink potions. And Elazar can't cast healing magic. Let's go. See, now if Jax was here, yeah, Jax he could would cast two wheels. definitely have made so, that save because his con is crazy. That means, and he'd be able to heal. That means Daigon oh. and Davian are both unconscious? Yes, yep. 100%. <gasps> Uh, Elazrin. Okay. It is now your turn. You're back to being a first aider. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, my God. All my uh, items are useless. Uh, if you touch a potion, does it stop working? I was going to say, if I use advantage on. So, disadvantage if I, I heal a potion at someone. Because oh it goes like. It goes through the anti-magic right, but then comes out of the anti-magic. In that time, it's in the anti-magic going through it. Does it just make it now just a regular potion? Yeah, or the as, second as it leaves? As soon as the item leaves it, it becomes a regular. Uh, then I'll fucking just throw a an, an, uh, potion of healing at Davian. So, please bear in mind, anything that requires strength or dex... Is that disadvantage? Is that okay. Disadvantage? Okay. Fine. Well, I'll opposite say I'll say you are right next to Davy on the board, so I'll say oh, that you can hand it to him. The, the, no, the opposite version is okay. I do that. I'll just drop it on his face, <laughs> just upside down. <laughs> like, well, yeah, you, well, you if you also, empty it out of the yeah, bottle, does it become it, magic? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it yeah, it's, out, it's like. water when I see it, but then it just like comes magic as it comes down. <laughs> you have ten foot less movement as well. Oh, um, fucking, it doesn't matter. <laughs> hey, hold sucks. on, let me, let me. I mean, if he does just drop the bottle onto him and it cracks and make sure it drops it on his face. That's not how that works. <laughs> uh, that's how, the, how it works in Baldur's Gate, not how it works in actual D&D. <laughs> <Damn. laughs> uh, it's oh my we can't God. gather around and smash a bottle on the floor to get more potion per potion. Let's see, let's see. Imagine it's a fun, potion. fun, cute side quest murder mystery. Why not half the party dead? I just want to um, say this is Dagon's I have just looked at my... Fucking inventory, oh, and I've only got time. one potion. Fuck. I didn't want to go at all. Just cast kill wins. Uh, the magic. Uh, wait, hold on. 
magical items that leave the sphere hmm. cease to be suppressed the, s the moment it exits the sphere. So you could, in theory, if I know over, the hand over Davian, like hover yeah. hand over Davian's or mouth, it... uncork as soon as the liquid leaves your space, it is magical again. So that would work. It so would yeah, can, that yeah, work. can I get? Can is there a way I can kneel down to him and be make yes. it so like yes. the bubble's at a weird angle? Or the whatever. bubble is very much fixated to me. you as a person. You. It's like yeah. attached to me, right? Like uh, you've been laminated and anti. Yeah. 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 Oh my God. He, yeah. He just has like so a second. As soon as you do the pour, you would have to do like a bit of a high pour for me to make sure That's that it's no fine. longer in your space. Is but so. Yes. The, the, is this an action I'm using as well to pour it, or oh, yeah, right to give a potion to someone else as an yeah, action, right? That's always an action. So, yeah, so I mean, yeah, I will use the only potion I've got, which is a potion of superior healing. Oh shit, big one. I mean, worth it because he's at zero, worth, he's so he'll be able to so, use all of it. Yeah, eight d four. Am I proficient in what? Are you proficient with heavy armor? No. No, you're not proficient with heavy. Oh, armor? I am proficient with heavy armor. Oh, oh well then. Then the only problem with your mithril armor is that you you lose ten foot of movement. It's still heavy armor just because you haven't got the strength requirement for it. I have a, a slightly retroactive question, Dutch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Get, I'm, I'm it's a hail mary. I'm assuming you'll say so you no. You don't have disadvantage mm -hmm. in anything. Oh. Because of the nature of like the save we failed, and you said it was necrotic damage that mm -hmm. did that to us. No, no, I didn't. Do I get? Oh, you just no, said we just dropped. Okay. You just, you just dropped Do I? Hit points. As given the the ghostly nature of the adversary and my nature, do I have any stretch? Is there any stretch where I got advantage on that saving throw for any reason? Um, no, because you okay, very much are a creature within thirty feet of it that could hear it. That's fair. And that is the okay, only that's thing fair. it needs yeah. to stick. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, uh, you heal for thirty. <laughs> Woo! Oh yeah. From eight D four plus. Back eight. on my feet again. I will then. Well, not on my feet. But... Uh, on your ass, but ass awake. <laughs> uh, yeah, fuck it. I'm gonna... It's gonna go right up to him. Okay. Gonna get right in there. Yeah, uh, for, and so in Tales, it's kind of awkward. Um, yeah, because he's floating. Because but... he is considered a tiny creature, but because it's yeah, open, he still takes right, up a yeah. whole square. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. But I'm whatever. still just gonna be right up there. <clears throat> and then, as a bonus action, what the fuck can I do? I you notice, by the way, that this like anti magic zone follows you around, like it's stuck to you. Yeah. Can't. No, it's gonna be an action to do like investigations or anything, right? I'm just gonna have a look at the. What's it called? The pillar. Um. I'll be I'm generous and say that I'll give you that as a free object interaction. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna fuck it. I will take the attack of opportunity uh, okay. to go up to the pillar. Um. <clears throat> As you do that, uh, this Demi Lich uh, looks at you, and you can see the green crystal eyes glow. And I need you to make another con save. It's not Wait, like a magical effect, is it? Me. It's oh, not like a magical effect. Fucking true. Yeah, no, you're fine. It. Everything is guy yeah. does is magic based. True. Uh, it's not even going to bother you. Uh -huh. the action for that. He's then. made oh, you okay. immune. He's not even, even going to bother. Shit. Yeah, cool, but it means I'm I'm useless. I cannot um, help you guys anyway. So I, I guess like that's to, for, just for the if... balancing of it that makes it a bit more right, balanced, right? Like I will investigate this uh obelisk. Yeah. Then um, uh I this... just wanna see Make an investigation check. Yeah, okay. And then just describe to me what you you know, what are you I'll give you a general uh, description of it and then we can see if you can yeah. go a little deeper based on what you're doing. Investigation is twenty two. Okay. So initially when you look at this obelisk, you can see that it is a crude handmade pillar made of stone as well as human bone and rotten flesh lovely and on top of well, this obelisk okay, there is on. a slot that has this big black crystal in it and the crystal itself is glowing there's black smoke kind of emanating from it does it look like so with my like what i rolled does it look like that crystal is protected anyway, or does it look like it would be quite easy to get out? Because you roll high, uh, I'll give you this and say that you get the sense by the strength of the dark magic yeah. that you've sensed in this room and experienced, yeah. and the fact that two of your allies immediately yeah. drop to the floor as soon as this thing opened its yeah. mouth. You get the sense that touching this crystal in and this state is a death sentence. 
that said, cool. Thought that might have been the case. Just wanted to be like, cool. That's fine. Um, you know, the thing I'd want to know is like, it looks real fucking secure, that tower, right? Like, even though it's made of bone and flesh and stuff, it doesn't really like, yeah. like rigid and secure. It's not like haphazard in any way. No. It, is. Uh, it seems very no, meticulously cool. put together. Yeah. No, that's cool. Um, that will just be my full turn then, because there's fuck all else I can do. Uh, at the end of your turn, the anti-magic zone is... Ah! Oh, you bastard. <laughs> it's only for one turn. Yay. Oh, only for one turn. Uh, Brooks. Well, I can't give Dagon a potion. Nope. And Davian's up. So the only thing right now I can do that's real valuable is be a fucking pain in the ass to this guy. Yep. So... I go, I fucking rage, and I'm gonna start punching this motherfucker. Okay, roll your attack. Oh, is this thing only just five foot off the air as well? <laughs> or is it like high up in the air? No, no, he's hovering. just he's he's within reach. He's within reach. Okay, that's cool. He's still yeah. hovering hovering at like head level. He hasn't like elevated oh, I himself. Or I don't know yeah. what AC a demi lich has, but I ain't taking no fucking chances, and I don't think he's a melee boy. So I'm gonna go reckless. He is literally ahead. It's literally a let's, floating skull. It's a skull. Well, it, let's get ahead of this then. I'm going to hit him for a 21. On 21 the first hits. Attack. And a uh, dirty 20. Just hits. Right. I am not rolling well. Uh, do I need to separate my fire damage from my magic bludgeoning damage? Uh, Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, five points of fire damage. Okay. Four plus five plus two. Uh, so, uh, eleven points of magic bludgeoning damage. So you see. Oh, that, that's the first hit. Sorry. Uh, as you attack it, you see that the fire definitely like kind of makes the head to kind of shift in its space very quickly. The punch, you struck it, and you heard it kind of squirm, and you heard bone kind of splinter. But it doesn't seem to do as much as you would have hoped. They're, they're magic, if that count, if that helps. All of my strikes are magic. Yeah, I know. I'm aware. Okay, just checking. Uh, one fire damage and 11 uh, again. Okay. For bludgeoning. On the second one. What? Anything else? Uh, nope, that's me all spent. That's bonus action action movement. Okay. Is going to use a legendary action. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't like that. No, it's not. Is going to use an ability called Energy Drain. Mm -hmm. No, I don't no, like it's that. Not. Everyone within 30 feet of it, that is everyone, except for oh. Eigen, I guess. <laughs> Yay! Uh, because the condition is uh, <clears throat> that can see or hear it, and you are very much. I can't hear anything when I'm unconscious. Right uh, so the rest of you, I uh, need you Unless all... we get into that whole debate of can you hear in a coma? <laughs> Rules is written, no, you can't. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, so everyone else, make a con save, please. This fucking Again. motherfucking con saves. It's not a spell, is it? It's an ability. It's an ability. Oh, here we go. Fuck! I mean, everything, that first one, I normally everything this guy does will, will, will be like abilities shit. and not spells. If, so he just can't. The eight. Demi Lich can't cast? That's some bullshit. No, Demi Lich is a, Demi Lich is a cool man. Mm. Uh, that's an eight, by the way. Eight? Nineteen. Mm. No. Twenty-one. No, 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 nineteen. Twenty-four. Do, 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 do. Okay, so this only affects uh, you, Elazarin. Oh, sweet. <laughs> if only you were still in an anti magic shell. Yeah, no, right? That'd be great. Uh, I missed the shell. It was so you take good 10 to points me. of necrotic damage. Oh, pussy shit. Um, I'll say half? that now. Wait. Is it half, or, or do you take four necrotic damage? You... What was that? Wait, I've got 10 HP, and I don't really know why. Uh, that should be gone because we long rested since you yeah. had that. Yeah. I mean, Once you look stoned, as you try and figure that um, out. Whatever, like, I don't know if you're resistant to uh, Inferno's Gonads? Nope. Uh, okay, so 10 nope. points, uh, and also, so, you know, your max HP also goes down by 10. 
Cool. Oh. That's fine. All right. Uh, Brooks, continue. Uh, is there anything else you want to do, or was that no, it? No, that's that's my turn. Kiss. <laughs> Welcome back, Belle. You picked a hell of a session to... Uh, yeah. I did. I really did. Okay. Um... Wait. I mean, I mean... Like, two can play at this game and summon more shadow creepy people. Like, oh yeah? I'll out creep you, <laughs> creepy thing. How big are the tiles? In the uh, five feet. Five feet. Okay. No, I don't have nothing. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use my bonus action mm -hmm. to. Borrow experience from the soul I still have in my soul cage. Oh, fuck. Ooh. So I get advantage on my next attack roll. Cool, cool, cool. And then I'm going to use Eldritch Blast. Okay. Am I going to use Eldritch Blast? I yes, know, I am. Are you? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, at this yeah, level, yeah, how yeah. many beams of Eldritch <clears throat> Blast do you get? Is it two or three? I get... <laughs> Three? I, was like, I feel I like think... you're up to three, but be, you level, you level uh, three what, beams. 11? Three beams? They're eleven. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Roll yeah, three. Yeah. Uh, roll three. three. Uh, is the, the the experience you brought was just for your your next attack? Oh. So just one of them goes with advantage. All. Yeah. So one uh, just my next then, attack. And then roll the other two as normal. <clears throat> okay. Cool. So I have twenty-seven hits. Dirty twenty. Just hits. And Bless you. twenty-seven. Also hits. All three of them hit. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, twelve plus three thunder, which oh, I think thunder. is still three. Uh... Yeah. Okay, yep. Uh, yeah, okay. I was right. Um, eight force and another six force. Okay. Is that all? <clears throat> yeah. You're not moving anywhere? You're just staying put? Yeah, I'm just staying where I am. Eigen, can you make me a death save, please? Don't yes. reveal what you're rolling. Oh, so are we doing secret? Yeah, secret death saves? Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. I need good juju. Sunglasses so will really help with the poker face. True. Yeah, yeah. we're breaking out. We're breaking out the wedding d20s because I need good vibes. Because <laughs> my other d20s were fucking me over. Well, this was a wedding. Yeah. I feel like the right time. Where is my? There it is. Ha <laughs> ha. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, yeah, good to know. Davian. I'm gonna stand up from prone. Yeah. Then I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use. Wait, you! <laughs> <laughs> A bonus action. <clears throat> and I'm gonna call forth a nature spirit to soothe the wounded. Oh. So. Hold on, let me uh, do what we did last time. Of course, I'm going to summon it right on Daigon. Wait, 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 wait. Is Daigon undead? Yes. Okay, then never mind. Scratch all of that. My creature, my creature type is undead. Scratch all of that. Um. Oh, that's tough, isn't it? <laughs> that's tough. <laughs> that's tough, isn't it? 
Just cast yeah, it and see what happens. Okay, I'll lash. Don't uh... listen to Ethan. He's an idiot. Hmm. Of course I am. If I was smarter, I'd have better friends than you, Belle. Oh, a bit rude. It's meant True, to be. but it's still a bit rude. <laughs> okay, I will cast. Branding Smite? Go on. On my bow? Mm hmm. <clears throat> are the Smite spells bonus action or are they in action? Yes, they are bonus action. Not so all just need to make sure that I can. I just need to make sure I can use it on a bow. So they're all bonus actions, apart from divine smite, which is a free action. Technically, mm, a free action. Yeah. I don't think yeah. all of them are. I think one of them actually is an action to cast. Could be. Oh, one of them ooh. is an action. I think but it's, it's like an action, but steering they're, smite. They're super nerfing paladins next, like. Uh, hand yeah. Why? That's why I'm not. All smite. Why? Like, even divine smite becomes uh, is no longer a free action. Why yeah, are they doing not. that? Paladins were completely balanced and fair. <laughs> right, right, right. Okay, I'm so yes, paladin. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast and... <laughs> Branding Smite. Okay. Then I'm gonna shoot the skull. Right, make an attack. Uh, Natty 15, so 24 to hit. That hits? For I'll throw an elemental power in there as well, why not? Yeah, fuck it. Uh, so that gives 1d8 plus 3. Oh! So 11 points of magical piercing damage. 2d6 from of radiant damage from the smite. So 8 points of radiant damage. And a d8 of fire damage. So 3 points of fire damage. Um, Branding Smite is just on the next attack, isn't it? Yeah, I believe so, yeah. <clears throat> that is, okay, so... <laughs> Hold on. The next time you hit a creature, yep, yep. the weapon... The target sheds dim light in a five-foot radius and mm. can't become invisible until the spell mm. ends. Yep. So the br it is branded, I guess. Yeah. All right. So it sheds. Cool. Well, what do you do? Which is a fucking concentration spell. Um. Yep. But who the fuck cares about that? And then I'm gonna shoot him again. For me. Shoot him again. Now fired. Which is a seventeen. That misses. The arrow just bounces off the skull, it. ricochets That's through fine. the room. The one that counts. Ricochets. Fire it. All right. Is that your turn? Uh, yep. Yeah. For the lair action, the obelisk you uh, see in front of you. Uh, what's up? Uh, nothing. I oh, just panic. I you were just making sound. Right, never mind. I thought you were. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. Uh, no, no, no. You see the crystal in front of you, uh, Lazarin, beginning to glow. Ooh. As suddenly. Culpers. I don't like this. I'd like to leave again. I don't like how I'm right next. You know, I regret my decision going right next to the obelisk. I'll be honest. <laughs> Suddenly beside you. Explodes. Is there a tormentor now? Two. Um, obelisk. Three. Three, four, three. Shadow <gasps> demons appear. Ooh, Ooh, no. Like smaller shadow demons. With, you know, the black smoke. The horns. The Yucky. bright white eyes. Oh, like the ones we saw! Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and it is now the Demi Lich's turn. I need to s roll a d6 to see if he gets his howl back. Howl back. Oh. Not. Can he not? Get yeah, dodge for that. Um, and it, for his action, is going to use an ability called Life Drain. Uh, targets up to three creatures that it can see. So, Brooks. Elazrin Kess. No! Oh, it's, not looking, it's not looking at me. It's look, I'm behind it. What the hell? It turns its head. Sees you. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> uh, it's like one, two, <laughs> three. <laughs> uh, I need you three. So Kess, um, Brooks, and uh, Laszlo, I need you guys to make con saves. Please. Why is it always con save? 
Bebentine. That's for 20. Okay. Nice. 23. 23. Um, okay, so it just affects you, uh, Lantern. <laughs> oh, 17? <laughs> Killing myself. Oh, I'm so glad I got it. Uh, you take 20 points of necrotic damage. Is my hit point maximum by any chance reduced by that amount as well? No. But you oh. do see... No, make a note for this. Oh, heals. Demi Lich. Yeah. yeah. Kind of the flame around his head beginning to glow a little brighter again. It seems yeah, to feel fun. a little better. Mm. That's a trade off. He either heals himself with it or <laughs> reduces your max HP. Um, that is his turn. Elazarin. Oh, I need to roll initiative so. for the fucking. Hold on, hold on. Before I do that, I need to roll initiative for the new fucking shadow demons. Check. Oh, yeah, they do it. Elazarin. Question. All of them go oh, in you? between I books. Get out huh? of the way. Huh? Can I get out of the way? Yeah. Fuck no. What I do have. What I do have. We do have a little, a little problem because it sort of came up with uh, Duke's little thing. Hey guys, turns out cure wounds, healing word, and that shit don't affect the undead or <laughs> all, all constructs. Can't use it on them. I'm <laughs> gonna say unfortunate. If that is the rule as written, that is an oversight by me. Yep. And I'm gonna forgo that. I say So I could have healed. I'm special. Yeah, you could have. Uh in the, I, okay. I thought that was just specific to that one. Uh, but apparently that's yeah, all rules, magic. Rules as Aura is, 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 is nerfed enough content. already by not being able to drink potions. I want healing yeah. spells to still work on Daigon. Okay, so, that's fine. That's my Basically, bad. That's right. it, oversight by me. It's, you, you either do yeah. it that healing potions work and spells don't, or spells work yeah, and spells healing potions, work, healing potions oh. don't. I didn't realize that Whoa. all healing spells have that dumb yeah. fucking... I never knew Hold that on. either, actually. That's With, interesting. Yeah, what is the... What options does that class have to heal if that's yeah. the case? I can heal myself, but I have to be conscious. Uh, like, if I'm in a host and I heal, heal the, host. the host, I get then also the healing from. Yeah. That whole class is kind them. of built around mm -hmm. just not going yeah. down by hopping yeah. bodies and shit like that. That's kind of what. Yeah. It's also meant to be squishy. It's not meant to yeah. be a super yeah. powerful, like, you but know. Because due okay. to the nature of. You know the choice it's a made. The, the device choice more than made a class. <laughs> to leave the body, leave the metal body behind, and getting into this room without body hopping with someone kind of put Diagon in a position where she's just very prone to getting fucked. Yeah. Because <laughs> otherwise, if I was in my metal body, that would have been up to Dutch whether it dropped the body's hit points and then the body of was course. like damaged. And the body was... in that sense just functions as a yeah. host. So, yeah. 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 Right. So. Healing spells do work on her. Yeah, uh, that's my bad. I didn't realize all healing spells have that. Her spells have that. You really do. Dust. It's kind of, so, it's real fucking, that's what I was looking at. I was so like, that's why I want to oh, say, you know, Laura's crazy. already fucking nerfed enough <laughs> as it is no, when it comes to healing is... that I want spells to still work. Fine. Well, that's Gucci. Good to know that that is literally a thing in all healing spells. I did not know that. Your... I, I never knew that either. Hmm. Neither did I until I fucking read them. I knew it didn't work on constructs. I knew that was a thing. I was like, yeah, that, well, that makes sense undead. to me, right? Because like... Yeah, and there's like, just reads, all the undead. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> oh, that's more of like a. I don't know. That's like, I disagree, why would you want to heal I disagree answer? with that a little bit. Yeah. You know. I kind of get why in from my like. I guess. Because you don't play an undead, my turns are dead. Right? Like, yeah. The idea of somebody playing an undead creature was kind of foreign yeah, still. You know what I mean? It yeah. wasn't really a common thing. Hey, yeah. man, we play uh, Divinity. Yeah. yeah, but in the Indian. The no healing, is, guess, only but, poison. If, True. If Lingering Soul was official Wizards of the Coast, they would probably make her considered a humanite still. And not maybe, yeah, maybe. So, yeah. Yeah, um, anyway. uh, well, well, the uh, uh, Warforged are humanoid. Yeah, they're humanoid. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Right, not construct. So, yeah. 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 It'll probably go through that well, same treatment. Basically. Yeah. Well, then, I will do the bare minimum. Yay. That's enough. Then. Uh... Hey man, just get just Probably. get her up. I will, I will do a level one healing word mm -hmm. on Daigon. Very good. You heal for eight oh. HP. Me? Yeah. Oh. Okay. And then, as my action, I bring the dome out. Oh God! Here we go. Woo. Here we go. What's the radius again? I keep forgetting. 30 feet, baby! Yeah. There you go. 
Whereas I should have said, like, maybe move to her, but you know. You're pissing me off. <laughs> there we go. Special home for everyone. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yippee! 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 All it takes is targeting you with one more of those anti magic fields, and it's just gone. And then it's gone. <laughs> oh! I mean, yeah, but for for one whole turn. Yippee! Uh, yippee! Yippee! Little dome of safety! Uh, yippee! Yeah. It's the, oh god, everything hurts. I'm not going to use magic. My magic! <laughs> Please! <laughs> Alright. Uh, and Please. I have 14 temporary hit points. Look at you, bro. I'm doing it, Dad. You're proud of me. Thank god. Look at my dad! Okay. Um, at my the turn. end of your turn, oh, fuck off. The Demi Lich is going to make a legendary action. Fuck off! Uh. <laughs> An ability called Cloud of Dust. Uh, each creature within 10 feet of the Demi Lich. So that is Laszlo and Brooks. Oh, why, 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 I need you guys to make. It's a con save, I got a con screen. save. <laughs> it's like my uh... worst save of the strain. Oh! <laughs> guys, I'm really rolling so good on these con saves. <laughs> Five. Five? You are blinded. Mm. That's all right. So 16. 16, you are oh. also blinded. Fuck! The fucking, the fucking dust in my eyes, shit! Literally, fuck. I mean, it's cloud of dust. Literally, you got oh, fucking, dust in your eyes and you're now fuck. blind. So, yeah, you, are, you, you two are blind. Um, it is now your turn, Brooks, but you are blind. Last thing you saw was okay. uh, this shadow demon just appearing <laughs> behind you, and then your vision kind of went to, went to black. Okay, so attack rolls against me have advantage. And my attack rolls have disadvantage. Yes. So I'm just going to counteract that by attacking recklessly. Yeah, fair. I'll be honest. When you're blind, yeah, that's that's all right. Just fucking yeah. But I mean, yeah, that makes sense. What's the worst? I, a reckless attack, they get advantage on me that they would have already had. Yeah, exactly. So true. Yeah. Imagine being afraid uh, of. So that's a dirty twenty on the first one. Uh, hitting the demi lich or the shadow demon behind you? The demi lich. Uh, just hits. A dirty 20 just... I suppose it's small. What well, I've been saying for the last three times, we've got a dirty 20. <laughs> yeah, uh, it is considered 20. a tiny creature, so it's just... It's very hard to... It's very small. It's uh, just Three small. fire damage. Okay. You know what else is considered a tiny creature? Don't say you're caught. Ladies? It's not a creature. <laughs> <laughs> a creature. <laughs> My what is this foul it, creature you... It's out of control. Up. Get down! <laughs> In the what else uh, was the damage there, Ethan? The, the, uh, the I have 11 uh, bludgeoning. Okay. Well, that's my first hit. Mm -hmm. Are you high enough again. monk where you've got fucking magic fists? Can you punch ghosts? Yeah. Hell yeah. So it doesn't I mean, seem that breast... it doesn't seem that that bothers it very much though. Mm -hmm. I just meant it. I just meant in general. Mm -hmm. I'll be honest. That's just. So my brass knuckles are magic. Like oh, they are anyways. anyway. Anyway. Yeah. But it, but being a high enough monk level means that like my bonus action attacks are also yeah. considered magic. Uh, that's a twenty-five to hit. A hit. Three fire, and eight points of bludgeoning. Okay. Uh, I'm going to bonus action flurry of blows. Hmm. Uh, do do. Beep, beep, beep. Uh, so, uh, my first unarmed strike is a 19. So that misses. misses. Yeah. Okay. However, because I have flurried the blows that did it, did, mm -hmm. uh, I can move without triggering attacks of opportunity. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to move. Uh, wait. Roll a d4. Okay. I'm gonna, because you're blind, I'm going to randomize which direction ah. you're running into a little bit. Just for shits and giggles. That's fun. Okay, before I do that then, can I make my, I was gonna move and make my second flurry of blows, but can I take, move that, take that before I move? Sure. Okay. Is that against the shadow demon? Or? Yeah, I'll do that one against the shadow demon. Okay, yeah, because you, I saw you like turn him around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that'd be a 14. 14, uh, let me look. It's... Thank fuck for that. 
So that's just a fucking rolled like shit. That's a seven of magic bludgeoning damage. Um, seven magic bludgeoning. All right, very good. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and then I rolled a one. Okay, so you're running up. So. This direction. I want. Okay, that's f I wanted to move to like here, but so you're just, because you rolled a one, you're just running a straight line. Okay, you don't really know I'm exactly where you end up. <laughs> yeah, just whatever movement speed you have. Oh, or, I or until all of it. I, I mean, how much? What? What is the? You can just move, right? I can move right now, fifty-five feet. Yeah, just if you want to move? Just move. I'm just saying. I just yeah, I, just, I wanted to move like that much. Yeah, but okay. What I was saying is, do I need to move all of it? Because I'm. <clears throat> move until you think you reach a destination. Okay. So, because I'm blind, I don't know what direction I'm moving, but I know Correct. how far I've moved. Correct. Okay, then that'll do right there. Okay. Cool. Alright! 15, 10 HP. Woo! There you go. Alright, it is now this Shadow Demon's turn, and it's going to chase you, Brooks. Okay, I was about to say 10 HP doesn't matter because I've not been attacked, but... Fuck me, I guess. He has advantage, don't forget. Mm -hmm. With advantage, that is a 21 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Oh, if the demon had advantage on the attack roll, it gets two extra dice of damage to roll. Isn't that funny? Yeah. Nice. Weird how that works. I didn't even know that. Like, genuinely. No. Hey, uh. hey, at least they're going for me and not you, Craig. <laughs> uh, you take 19 points of psychic damage. Oh. Now nah, let's not do that. Why not? That's okay. You have to roll it up. Uh, let me double check. I don't know if it's psychic damage actually that I don't have. There's you one don't have psychic. It's psychic. Is it psychic? Thumb, I it barbarians like the only thing they can never have is psychic damage. Okay. Well, yeah. then that sucks. But I'll live. But it like it breaks at you with its claw, and as soon as it touches you, you just get this cracking headache. Like, something on the inside of your skull is just pounding. Angy. I have no idea what that was. There's some, you know, you feel, you feel like some drops of blood kind of dripping out of your nose as, as, as that happens. Um, okay. This shadow demon is going to attack Kess. What the fuck, dude? Uh, that is a... That's only a 15 to hit. That's only a 15? Mm-hmm. No. My AC is... 60, I think. My C is 50. Oh, it, should, so. yeah, it should say something you cheat, Bell. <laughs> I, I, I'm just checking. It's 60, I think. I think. We'll check that real quick. 13 plus tax. Uh, if it's 13 plus tax, yes. I'm pretty sure. It's 16 then in your case. 16. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, this shadow demon is going to turn towards Laszlo. With advantage. With advantage, because your blind is a bat. Uh, with advantage, is a dirty 20. Misses. There you go. Yes. You are up. Okay. Um. Damn it. Fuck it. I'm going to cast Phantasmal Killer on the Lich. Without the spell, hold on. You need to make a wisdom saving. Yeah, but his wisdom's like plus 55 billion, so. It's a Hail Mary, wasn't it? Oh, it's this one. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wisdom save 18. Okay, never mind. Um. Down. Well, sound more upset. Right. Fucking hell. <laughs> uh, anyway, it's uh, it's still frightened. Um, no, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> on a on a failed save, the target becomes frightened for the yeah. duration. Demilich is immune to being frightened. Oh, true. Never mind then. <laughs> so. Uh, da, 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 da. Definitely not immune to being a little bitch, though. What the fuck? Oh, it still has to do it every time now. That's fine. Um. And then I'm going to use Soul Cage to heal myself. Okay. I'm going to steal light. Despite all my rage. Soul Cage. Oh, just a rat in the cage. 
All right. Anything else, uh, uh, Bell? Are you moving anywhere? Uh, no. And I heal for six. Yoki. And you get 14 temporary hit points. <clears throat> Woohoo! It nice. got, by the way, it got super pog since you've been gone. It's I noticed. Since you've been gone. Immediately. I get it. Uh, I'm gonna uh, hitchhike with a Lazarian and say thanks for that as I like ride along with his body. Uh, so I'll just put my token next to his, and if you need to put something there, because obviously I'm not standing there, just tell me and I'll move it. I'll just keep it around a Lazarin, so we know. Um, and then I also looked it up. I, I lied. I don't get healing when I heal my host. What it is is if I heal someone else while I'm in a host, the host also gets some, like, extra healing. Oh, yeah. But I could, target, I could target myself, and then a Lazarin would still get some. Oh, like, okay. I, can... I mean, that, that works then, yeah. I, I believe there's nothing in the in the PDF that says I cannot target myself. No, that's fine. So, I'll allow it. Um, which is what I think I'm gonna do. I'll target myself with one of my uses no, of sympathetic mending. Well, the wording specifically. It's not really sympathetic it. if it's on yourself, oh. though, right? I have so much sympathy. Oh. Does it say my a life is bad? No, it just says target a creature within 30 feet of me. Hey man, you are a creature within 30 you feet of yourself. You are a creature within 30 feet of yourself. I am a creature within 30 feet of myself, so... It's my favorite thing being like, a creature, they feel like, a creature, you can see, you can see you. Uh, yeah, Yo. you can look down and see your body. What I was yeah, you know what else you, is a creature within 30 feet of you? If you're possessing Fuck someone. off. But it doesn't say see. Is it, say is it, is it a tiny creature? <laughs> so this, I feel like this I... wording specifically doesn't mention the seeing part, so that you can... You could do it while you're in a host. host. Yeah. yeah. So I regain nine plus thirteen hit points. A Lazarin, you regain four. I'll take it. Three heals. Hey, falls better than less than I have. Yeah. Ten. <laughs> and how much temp HP do I have now? Oh, uh, what is that? Assuming that's your turn then. Uh, yeah, because the bonus action is the possession. Fourteen. And the action is the pathetic mending. Okay. Fourteen. Thank you. That's my turn. Darby. Boring. Alright, it's me. Uh. Ah, no. <laughs> uh. Uh. I'm gonna Excuse use me? a bonus. <laughs> I'm gonna use a bonus action mm -hmm. to speak the magic, the magic bow's command word. Uh, and then I'm gonna shoot the fucking skull. Magic word. Why did I just roll with advantage? Oh. <laughs> You're a poopy head. You are a stinky poopy head. 14. 22 to hit. 22 to hit. That hits. 1d8 plus 2d6. <sighs> oh. Is that an 8 or a 3? It's a 3. Fuck. <laughs> 6. Piercing. 9. Acid damage. Acid. How'd you do your legs? Acid. Little okay. zib. All right. And is he concentrating on anything that might be affected? No. Or no? Nason. You sure? You want to double check? I just did. Good. Oh, we'll check the... oh, I'm gonna shoot him again. Okay. For a twenty-three to hit. That no, hits. twenty-four to hit. That still hits. <laughs> no, suddenly the higher number. I'm waiting for Dutch to hit us with the fucking, like, you have to roll under its AC, like, creatures. Uh, that was... Even. Homebrey. What, what is this? <laughs> that, see, that's right. Eight, Eight points. Between 50, 50. zero and yeah. 20. Eight points of yeah. normal. One of you's gonna get kissed. <laughs> Eight, Eight points, points piercing. piercing. Eight points acid. You're good. Uh, it's look, it's starting to look uh, pretty rough. And then I'm gonna... No, that's it. It's my turn. Uh, at the end of your turn, he's going to use a legendary action to use energy drain on you. I need you to make a con save, please. Well, first you have 15 temp HP. Okay, I'm gonna take my 15 temporary hit points. Okay, con save. Yes. 23. Uh, okay, you are fine. 
It's now time for the lair. Uh, and I mean, Koiba, you are getting covered by another anti-magic field, brother, so the dome... Are you fucks fucking off. shitting me? I have a question about that. Mm -hmm. I don't think it would. But would it force me out of a Lazarin? Technically, no. That okay, not, I didn't think so. That is just button. you being you, and you are able to yeah. do that. It's not a magic spell or effect that is yeah. just... It's an perk ability. of being a ghost. Uh, so okay, cool. You're just checking. Very That's much. Uh, it, it does mean that you are inside that anti-magic field as well, and, and you can't do shit. But yeah. you are still inside the last room. Yeah. This is not a heart real bad, Dargon. <laughs> it's not a heart real bad. <laughs> um, I mean, listen, man, but it means his attacks that. can't hurt me either, and I'm still real squishy. Can't use the same lair action twice in a row, but there you know. Did this, summon boys, and now did this again. Fucking, so. fucking every other turn I can <laughs> do something. Cool. Uh, it is now the Demi Lich's turn. Hey, don't notice that I'm like, fucked, please. And I roll just don't, just don't notice it. a d6 to see if he gets his... Uh, everyone within Zelda. 30 feet of it. Yep. He's beginning to howl again. I need all of you to make a con save. Oh, I'm, I'm fine! Oh, you, yeah, you, were oh, you and Diagon are fine. You and Diagon don't oh, have yeah, to. Let's go! <laughs> uh, yes. But the rest of you, so Kess... Uh, Brooks and Davian make con saves, please. Oh. Yes. I'm happy my life. <laughs> I'm happy my life three times by this thing. And that was, I was hoping it's also how I was uh, partially protecting oh. myself. I just I just did the roll to see what it would be. It would have been a five. I'm fucking gone. Out of curiosity. 21. Oh, I, I would have rolled a single digit again. Oh. <laughs> okay. uh, Brooks? 19. 19. What's the technique? I'm trying to roll a dice that doesn't get cocked. In my oh. tiny fucking dice tray. Right, there we go. That's better. Lady. Con save, 18. Uh, Brooks, you go unconscious. Drop to zero hit point. Oh no. The rest of you fine. Okay. Are fine. Uh, a 19 just save. <sighs> I thought I did alright on 20. I guess I will... On 18, sorry. I guess I will fuck myself. That was, that was Lauren James' die as well, by the way. There we go. Brooks, <laughs> you fall to zero hit point. I'm going to fuck myself. Um, Do I, ju I just? I just like, edge. I just collapse. Yeah, you just I just collapse. There's no like. There's no. no you hear this like blood that curdling one... howl, and you just completely the life force. It's like that fucking one life scene in the Matrix where they get unplugged. Out of you, and you just. Awu. Okay. Uh, yeah. 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 So I'm blind. blind. Yes, you're blind. Are you blind? Blind. Can't use any spells. Oh wait, 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 wait. Uh, you have a nice chat even, with me in your head. Don't even know that I'm down. Why uh, don't we know He's had a down? turn. Just no, because he's blind. The blindness is gone. The blindness oh, lasts okay. until the end of the Demi oh. next turn. It's just oh, happened. cool. So I, I see <laughs> Brooks fall to the fucking ground and go, Don't have any potions. Do I regain my vision? Uh, well, you regain your vision, but you're still unconscious. So like, I, I don't think it does much for you. <laughs> I, I'm like, I can see it. Your ass oh, it's more like, so. why is everything getting so floor-like? But, uh, yeah, you are able to see oh, again, but you are still, like, you notice, like, wait, your dome's gone. Wait a second. And, and, mm, wait a second. I get the before. feeling. That's shenanigans. <laughs> I've been here before, yeah. <laughs> uh, Hold on a minute. Wait a sec. Oh, I do have a regular potion feeling. Oh, sweet. I'm not gonna fucking use it. <laughs> now, I'm gonna work out how to... How much this will actually because it's magic. So. <laughs> I will. I mean, with the dragon bone cleaver, which at this point is just a sword. Mm -hmm. Just a sword. Just a scimitar. <laughs> Unless you throw it. <laughs> oh, that's true. If I like throw a huck a dagger or something. Nah, fuck it. I ain't throwing a sword. Nice try. Nice try, Duke. Nice try. <laughs> what the hell, man? <laughs> I'll pick it up for you. Keep it safe. <laughs> <laughs> Never sees it again. Yeah, literally. <laughs> uh, yeah, I will just fucking stab this Demi-Lich then. Uh, okay. So minus, that's a 21 to hit. The very just mundane uh, scimitar. Yeah. And just make sure there's no other cool. The damage is still the same. Okay, it's only for like a dragon. Still. Don't bother rolling that. Oh, does it immune not, to, not immune to non-magical bludgeoning, piercing, slashing, resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, slashing from magic. Should have thrown it. 
Should have thrown so it. You attempt to swing it at it, and it just <laughs> bounces off them. And the skull goes. <laughs> <laughs> I like just look at myself. I just, I just got. I was actually just starts crying. <laughs> just like. <laughs> you just think your puny weapons can just hurt like, me, magic man? Tears start going down his eyes, and that just be my turn. Just like, man, this is this is the fight that breaks a Lazar in huh? This is what we found it. I can't do um, anything. Brooks, can you make a death save and DM me the result, please? Yo, where's my? Is the shield gone now? Am I uh, am I a magic boy again? You are a magic boy. Yay! Uh, I can I can DM you the results, sure. I can't. Uh, you had gone to this shit, right? Uh, I don't know. De death saves are just straight d20s. No, oh, death saves are straight checks, yeah. Straight d20s. Is it 0 to 10 or is it 11 to 20? Mm. You don't know. No, no, no that's no, what I mean. That's, that's, a, that's a death cool. save. It's, yeah. yeah. It's been um, so long. Death. Okay. It's been so long. Good to know. Um, I can't find one of my d8. Shadow Demon no. Time. Uh, this one gone. is going to fly at Brooks again. Okay. Uh, uh, 18 to hit. Yeah, that hits. So you fail that save. Yep. Yikes. Uh, Good stop. Wouldn't that be two? Wait, yeah, let me double check. Uh, yeah, if he's attacking, crit. it's it's, it's a crit. crit. Oh, order crit, yeah. Oh, true, yeah. You just, so you lose two. That saves him. <gasps> okay. Uh, this one is going to attack Kess or attempt to. Uh, nope. And this yeah. one is going to claw at Laszlo. Nope. Kess. I'm gonna fire Eldritch Blast. At whom? And I'm gonna fire at. Like one... keep, it, keep in mind that whatever you do, because it's a ranged, ranged attack, uh, because you are in melee with an enemy, the the rolls will be at disadvantage. You're trying to do something ranged while there's a guy all up in your grill. Being annoying. Being like, nuisance. excuse me, can you just uh, duck down for a second? I need to see that pillar. <laughs> Pretty much. Can you just fuck off. <laughs> Uh, it's like, oh, sorry. That's annoying. Just roll well, don't be a pussy. Yeah, fine. I mean, I could get out of there, but fuck that. Okay, I'm gonna fire one at the one directly in front of me. Okay. Because he's pissing me off. Mm -hmm. Another one <laughs> at the one at Haku Brooks. Okay. And one at the lich. Right, yeah. Well, your first one with disadvantage, please. That's not bad. That's not bad. Okay. Oh, 22. Yeah, so you hit the one in front of you. Roll your damage. Uh, that is nine force and three thunder. Thunder. Okay. Roll your next one with this advantage. Nineteen. Uh, that hits. Uh, because that oh, goes to your second one went at the second shadow demon. We're doing that in that order, so that also hits. Cool. Uh, thirteen. Or okay. damage. Point. Right. And your final one at the lich. Roll your attack with this advantage. Nope. Nope. Okay, uh -oh. so you miss the Demi Lich. Bastard! Right. Anything else you would like to do with your turn? Um. Any bonus actions? You can't just say per chance. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I yeah, I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna misty step. Ooh. Um. Okay. Away. I'm gonna misty step, like over here. You know what I learned, by the way? 
control wise in uh, the Tailspire. Mm. You shift click your token and then click where you want to move it, it teleports. You know, like, Yo, really? Oh, yeah. that's cool. Learned that the other day. That's Nifty. cool. That's right. cool. Is that your turn? Uh, yeah. Could you do me a favor and just move Kess on one of the tiles completely instead of <laughs> exactly yeah. in between four of them? Thanks. <laughs> no, Kess is standing on all four. Appreciate it. Uh, all right. Doigen. Uh, you are no longer another... no longer affected by uh, an anti-magic zone because that yeah. popped off. Yes, yeah, so I'll use another sympathetic mending. Uh, what is it? Huh? Where's my other D8? Are you I just sympathetically heard it. healing? Uh, Brooks. Figured, but I had to ask. <laughs> yeah, so that Brooks gets 19 hit points back Ooh. and Elazarin gets full. Oh, yeah. So, Brooks, you awaken with one pass and two failed death saves. You would have failed that first death save, you'd have been dead. I mean, Hello? I had a, I had Hello? a plan. Hello? Hello. Oh, sorry, oh, my Discord died for a minute. Yeah, I'm Laura. back now. Why did we just get speedy Laura? <laughs> yeah, Laura, like, like that you can that? play yeah. Cash up and fucking. <laughs> bum, 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 yeah. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was just saying, uh, Ethan passed his first save. If he hadn't, he would have been dead. Uh, because of the yeah, I had, I had a plan for that save, but I didn't need it. <laughs> there you go. So, yeah. The, well, there we go. Ethan, I fix you. Brooks, you open your eyes and you can see the shadow demon kind of leaning over you. And you got a cracker of a headache, but you are up. Anything else, Dagon? That's my t no, that's my turn. Right. Uh -oh. Do I get better temp HP? Nope. Oh, Dome's gone. Me? Dome's gone. Magic. Yeah. Dome's gone. Get shit. <laughs> I am going to once again hmm? ask for ask our votes. <laughs> Branding Smite. <laughs> and I'm going to shoot him. Right. All right. The Lich. This is a. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's been your target the entire time, right? I figured. Uh, <clears throat> seventeen. This is now with Branding Smite. Is it the next attack that hits? And that might be the word. Double check that. For Let me. me see. Yeah, next time you hit a creature with a weapon attack. Okay. There you go. That's cool. So I'll shoot again. So that just lasts until uh, you hit a cunt. That's why it's 23. That's why it's concentration. Well, no, no, no. It also makes the target shed dim light, mm -hmm. oh. and it can't become invisible. Right. For the full duration of the spell. Yeah, but a part of the concentration so, is also to explain the is, fact yes. that it hits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, whenever you do hit next. Yeah, uh, it was yeah. just like, because like, like yeah, that that part. part makes sense that it's concentration, but the little extra like, oh, yeah. it'll it can't go invisible now. For, for the full minute. So 23 to hit in this one. Yes, that hits. Um, so, and I'll, this is going to be really fun. Mm -hmm. Put a little elemental power juice in there. Okay. So this is going to be a D8, and then 2D6 of acid damage, and then 2D6 of radiant damage, and a D8 of fire damage, okay? Okay. So, oh my god, hold on. No, so nine nine points of piercing damage. Nine points of piercing, yes. Nine points of radiant damage. Yes. Ten points of acid damage. Okay. Seven points of fire damage. Interesting. And How do you the. Want to Oh! Oh! Let's go. oh! Well, well, well. Mm -hmm. With all of those different magical damages in there, he's gonna be gonna be melting and burning and glowing and and like cracks are gonna form across the surface of the skull and all of the bright light from like the radiant damage is like glowing and then he just you're turning just... him into a firework. As you uh, do that. You feel the entire tower beginning to shake for a moment. Oh, fuck. As you see this green beam of energy kind of raising up through the floor, leaving through the ceiling, seemingly indicating that some kind of effect affecting the tower has lifted. And as the skull explodes, you hear a very faint... 
thank you. And I'm sorry. It's kind of echoes. You're welcome. <laughs> we go. Uh, the Shadow Fiend's <laughs> still there. Oh, still in combat. <laughs> but then oh. it's gone. <laughs> Is the crystal still All looking right. fucking evil? I'm about to find out, I suppose. About to find out because it's about, about it, the lair action is right yeah. up, coming right up after this. Uh, so. Yes, yeah. I was like, right. with oh your, God. Uh, your, uh, turn, uh, Duke? Um, that's yeah, that's everything for my turn. Okay. So the crystal begins to emit even more smoke than before. Oh no! As another shadow demon yeah. apparates. Oh, cowboy. This one looking larger than any other ones you've seen oh. before. Oh. And it looks upon all of you. Well, it's been a long time, hasn't it? It's the fucking no. guy. It's I am, however, guy. a sucker for reunions. So, tell me, since this is the second time our paths cross, and you can see him kind of scan, Ah, shame. Good friend Sai isn't with you this time. Well, I'd uh, rather take pleasure in killing you, and once that is done, I'll find that pathetic worm and drain his body of all its fluids. Ooh, kinky. Mm -hmm. Peter, what is this? <laughs> Yeah, uh, Malek has joined the fray. No. Damn, no, 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 no. Vincent reappearance. It's Sai bursts in the door being like, that's what you think, but... and he joins the fight with us. Wait until after the fight's done. Maybe. Wait until the deed is That was the letter action. Uh, and Lazarus. So yeah, you all see, even though the demulation is gone, these three shadow demons are still here, and now Malek. Uh, a, a shadow demon you've killed before. Before yeah. you again. Stands before you again, bigger than he That's than he was just before. Rude. Looking more dangerous than he did before. I just sort of like <laughs> ironically, I sigh. <laughs> and, uh, uh, I'm just like ah, oh, fuck this, and then I will upcast at level six, <laughs> uh, spirit guardians. Whoa. Yeah. So. Uh, what the fuck is it? 15 feet in, around me. Mm -hmm. uh, these little gold coins that are shimmering in. Everything needs to make a wisdom saving throw. So the two. 15 feet. So, like, that's everyone, right? If it's oh. 15 feet? Yeah, 15 feet radius. Yeah, so it's. Oh, 15 feet would be. There. Yeah. I'm going to so say that Malek boys. isn't in that. Like, even though he's, like, That's, kind of edging the... I mean, it's fine, because I, like... When I move in a yeah, second, true, I mean, true, I can true. move to there or there, right? right, right but I wouldn't right. do that but, just uh, yet. Initially, these two oh, well. these two boys around you are yep. definitely in it. Uh, do they roll yep. save, or is it just go fuck yourself? Yeah, it's a save. It is a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Uh, Shadow Demon. Wisdom. 14. And... Fails. one. Fails. Yay! So their movement is halved. Mm -hmm. I think it is anyway, actually. Yeah, it's halved anyway, so it's just it's damage. How much damage? Uh, It's 68 radiant damage. Well, I'm casting at 6th level, to be fair. Yeah, true. <laughs> uh, fucking sweating, bro. It's eating up. <laughs> yeah, my it's, fucking it's ass is It's toasty in here, too. Uh, they both take 33 points of radiant damage. Uh, they take 66 because they're vulnerable. So both these shadow demons just fucking explode. Cool. And then I'm going to go... Sup, bitch! <laughs> I'm just going to move forward one space. <laughs> As you do that... It... Um, looks at you. And I need you. Uh, hold on, I'm trying to read this right. Oh god, he's reading, boys. I hate it when that happens. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Yes. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, thank As God. he uses his reaction <laughs> to uh, attempt to do something. And Dutch, Please. before before you say the outcome, uh, let me hear what Koiba's number is in case I want to use Divine Barrier. Uh, that's a 29. Okay. No, I'm good. No, you're good. I'm good. <laughs> you're good. All right, so you need to make a wisdom save now? Yes, please. <laughs> I win at wisdom saves, boys. It's natural, the one thing natural, I'm good at. Natural 20. Oh, oh well, that's nice. It takes half damage. Mm -hmm. Three, four. That's not a D8. That is then. Uh, 29 and halved okay. of uh, so 14 yeah points mm -hmm. of uh, radiant damage very good all right is that and your turn is half. Uh, action yeah that'd be my turn yes uh, actually no he's gonna use legendary action shock uh, use an ability called Shadow Movement. And... Oh, no. Teleports. Upstairs. Ugh. Up the steps. In the up balcony. the stairs! Fucking loser! Pussy! Loser! Brooks, it is now your turn. Well, first of all, I'd like to get up. Get up, then. Fucking... Here we go. <laughs> I'm... I'm, uh, I'm real hurt. You know. Now nah, you're fine. I did my best. I'm, I think it's just a, oh no, fuck man. I'm, I'm fucking off this direction. <clears throat> About there. Uh... I'm going to chug a. Have I got any normal healing potion? Fuck it, I'm gonna chug my uh, basic potion of healing. I don't want to. I don't want to use my big boy one. Mm -hmm. Um. So I'm gonna use an action for that. Peace. And then. Uh. Then I will also use my amulet of the drunkard. So in one hand I've got a healing potion, and in the other I've got some fucking whiskey. I'm just gonna one after the other and try and heal as much as I can this turn, and that's gonna be all I do. Okay. Very good, very good. Is that your turn? Yep. Now demon is going to beeline it to you. <laughs> And he's going to, to hit you, Brooks, with a 23 to hit. You can fuck off. No. Uh, yeah, that hits. Uh, uh, give me one second to figure out how much I heal. <laughs> okay. You take okay. 13 okay, okay, points okay. of suffering. Fuck's sake. I mean, at least I didn't rage. Like, I thought about not doing the second potion <laughs> and just raging to take half damage, but... Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter, I guess. Don't matter indeed. All right. Uh, Kes? Everyone's out the way. Yes. I'm going to cast Sickening Radiance, scented on Malek, whatever it is. What's the range on that spell? 30 feet in a sphere. Uh, yeah, but I mean the range in which you can cast it. Oh, the range in which I can cast it is 120. 120 That's feet. gross. Okay. Yeah. You can definitely reach him then. Okay, so you're sending a sphere around this guy? Yeah. But you said 30 feet? Yeah. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Con saving throw. Boom. <laughs> a cunt. Mm -hmm. But also you need to save, uh, throw a con. What the fuck, Bell? Uh, con save <laughs> would make that a 17. Damn. Never mind. Oh well, he glows. He glows. That's it. <laughs> he glows. Like the sphere still um, persists. He just it's kind of just kind of vibing. Or just yeah, yeah, it just stays there. 
Yeah. Mm. And then if anyone starts their turn in the sphere, then they um, have to again. Right, right, right. So the sphere does stay. He just managed to brush off the effects for this time. Yeah. Got it. Right. Anything else? No. Uh, <laughs> and then. Nah, I'm good. Okay. Jaigen? First, I'll just move my token back near Lazarin since I'm still doing that. Uh, I'm I'm just gonna use my final use of sympathetic mending before I rest and try and send some more healing to Brooks. Okay. Because he can get and wail. Oh, you hate to see it. I rolled one on both d8s. Mm -hmm. So you regain six more hit points, and a Lazarin gets four. Let's go. I get, I get hey. four every time. Hey, man. Yeah, because you just get my my aspect modifier, my wisdom uh, modifier straight, and then I roll for Brooks. So I could have got 20? No, you could have, yeah, out of 20, you got six. Damn. I, the, you got the minimum, the minimum possible healing. And the best part is I'm at like half of Koiba's health. All right. Uh, anything well, else, Laura? Uh, probably more than that. Uh, no, that's it. Okay. Don't forget my health is my maximum health score has been reduced. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah it true. is now Malek's turn. No. Uh, I think I think he, he has to make save because save. he starts his turn. Yeah. Yeah. Can't save, right? Yep. That's even more than I just rolled. Damn. Sorry. Uh Malek is going to look around the room at the potential target. And he's going to hey, man. <laughs> I'm just glowing, leave me alone. It's got coins around me. I'm just holding my. To use an ability in. called Shadow Movement. Uh oh. Again, yeah. Bye, guys. He appears. Why are you saying bye? Next to Davian. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Fucking what? And Davian, what? I need you to make a Wisdom saving throw. You did kill the Demi Lich, to be fair. True. Wisdom. Wisdom, yes. Just check on the stage real quick. Ten. Uh oh. <laughs> Malek looks at you. I oh. <laughs> use legendary resistance. <gasps> because you have the fucking dragon. <gasps> oh, dude. Oh. And I succeed in. There you go. Use it that against is... the That is. That is fucking good. That is good. <laughs> Because he oh, was I about he was about to possess you, like he was about mm. to completely take oh. control of you. He he That's looks it. at How's you. How's it fucking feel? How's it fucking feel? This is Pog. <laughs> this is like the clutchest fucking time for that to to be used for the first time. Shit. He looks at you and just kind of scoffs, and then proceeds to make an attack at you instead, or as well on top of. Uh, Oh, so possessing was a bonus action, I assume. No, it was part of his... Part Should of his... Teleport, he wants it. Part of his thing. Well, he's he's a... gets to do it. He's a fucking little bitch. Right? Bitch. Uh, right. Uh, for the claw attack, that is a 25 to hit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a motherfucker. Oh, Jesus. Uh, you take 20 points <laughs> of psychic damage. No, no. <laughs> As he just kind of tries to possess you, you can see the shadows kind of like trying to grab a hold of you, and you just Ooh. you know focus, channel the magical abilities of your of your dragon, uh, mm. your your blue dragon visage, and he kind of lets go of you, and he just out of sheer anger just lashes out to you and claws and kind of puts his hand his his, his large hand on your face, and you just begins having this cracking headache. You take your psychic damage. Nice. Uh, nice. He scratched my brain. It isn't. He did. Not in the fun <laughs> way. It is now your turn, Davian. Uh. Yeah, I'm a misty step the fuck out of here. I think. <laughs> yeah. Probably a good shout. Um. Let me see. Oh, I could have. Could I? No. Couldn't. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna Misty Step. Fuck mm -hmm. it. Where am I? There I am. Misty Step goes 30 feet. 
Yes. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hey, gang. And I... I mean, I guess I'll shoot him. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> With my acid more long, long bow. Mm -hmm. Nothing's made me more upset as well than breeding, like, after target creatures. 26. My fucking pog spells. 26 hits. Four, do, 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 do. Uh, 10 points of piercing damage. 10 points of piercing And... Four points of acid damage. Mm -hmm. And I shoot again. One lad. 23 to hit. Yes. Four points of piercing damage. Eight points of acid damage. Mm okay. And I... Mm, wait, I used two... No, it's too late. That's my turn. Oh, wait, no. I still have movement. Yes, you do. Uh, can I just, just get like really far away? Like, can I just go like over here? Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize there's like a whole balcony, but it's covered in fart there, gas. There was, there is, but there is now this bunch of like, yeah, literal fart gas. Yeah. All right, <laughs> that's my time. All right, uh, the lair. Uh, I believe. No one. No, don't do it. That even though it's post, you know, this was very much a demi just lair, but the lair effects stick for like an X amount of days after its host dies. Ugh. So the lair is going to. The ground is going to quake. Everyone in the lair standing on their feet needs to make a strength saving throw or be knocked prone. I know what that's a strength saving throw? Yes. I can live that. Nope. That's fine. I'm down. Oh. Rolled like a seven. Yeah, okay. And I'm pretty sure my strength is a minus, so. Six. Well, uh, same. Brooks? Dirty 20. Uh, uh, Davian and Kess, you fall prone. <laughs> I, I said 26. Oh, wait, was it? Sorry, was it? Was it fucking. Uh, it was me. Sorry, sorry, my bad. Yeah. Laszlo and Kess, you fall. You I was gonna say, how the fuck did I say? <laughs> my bad, I had them turn around. Sorry. Um, so, yeah, you two are prone. Uh, it is now your turn, and last turn. So. I get back up again. <laughs> there you go. Can't knock down, um, but I get up again. Never gonna keep him down. Fuck it. Because why not? What, the Shadow Demon? Yeah. Um, huh? I'm just gonna do a cheeky fifth level uh guiding bolt at it okay fuck it up fuck me that was almost a natural one i almost cried uh <laughs> <laughs> that's a uh 22 to hit hits takes 86 damage yeah 86 radiant damage yeah Imagine you crit, man. That's fucking. Ooh. What is that? Forty-eight damage just to Forty-eight start with? plus a roll, yeah. But yeah. I mean, imagine if I fucking like the sword as well. I've got if I crit with that, it's ridiculous because I can like, add like some shit onto alert. that. He is vulnerable yeah. to radiant damage. Well, well uh, yeah, he's a shadow demon. Like, oh, I rolled like shit though. So... Who would have guessed? <laughs> Twenty. Twenty-five. Right, so 50. Yeah. And the next attack against has advantage. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think I still got my fucking spirit guardians out. Uh, yeah. It's gonna run up on the mats okay. <laughs> again. Here's some wisdom saving throw. Uh, 11 plus 17. Just saves. Uh, that a half damage. I, mean, I thought idea. you were saying 11 plus 17. I was like, what no, the no, no, fuck? No. <laughs> right. It's half damage, so Jesus. I guess it's regular damage. I don't need to bother half thing. Cool. Uh, correct. Oh, does it get weird? Because if it's an odd number, right, it's going to be half. If it's an double. odd number, yeah, it's just, it, 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 vulnerability doubles damage taken, so half hit. Okay, yeah. No, that's fine. It's 68, right? I literally just did this a second ago. Yeah. I believe so. Oh, that's such a good roll. <laughs> that's so upsetting. <laughs> 15. 
19, 30, 37. <laughs> so half to, what, 18 and back up to 36. Wait, this yeah. cunt is also technically within 15. Oh, oh is he? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, he, he needs to make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> Five. <laughs> cool. So if it's doubled, he takes 74 points of rating. Dead. Damage. Got it. Uh, how do you want to finish Malakon? Oh! Hey! 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 I just saw I didn't get a killing blow for once. I did, just like all these coins around him just sort of look up kind of like, not haggard, but just like tears still in my eyes. Like, right, it's not really probably It's not been a damn like, oh, just fuck off. <laughs> like these coins just all scatter around him, and like he's like, like, like a gold warpix so, like around him, and he, he yells, and as his sh he kind of like begins to grow bigger and bigger, and then it's, suddenly he just turns into this small spiral of shadow, and you just hear him shout, "I'll be back! Oh, I always come back. You send me back to my prison." I return stronger every time. And he gets sucked into the crystal. As uh, uh, he enters the crystal, the crystal begins to glow brighter and brighter and bursts, shooting shards of black crystal everywhere, leaving behind, and the pedestal immediately topples and collapses, leaving behind a small black orb. I'm not touching, I'm not touching it. No. <laughs> Do we just Jeez. like <laughs> bag a holding over it? Just like um, yeah. I'll say for the sake of this, because I kind of banked on yeah. Jax being here to do this. Right. If yeah. you want for Jax to like identify it, yeah, I'll allow that because like I had yeah. banked yeah. on that would be ha happening, and it would kind of yeah. You don't want to go yeah. randomly bag of holding over exactly. so things we'll say you that, don't know because yeah. if there's some kind of pocket dimension involved, the whole thing is gonna go boot, right? Like that's and, yeah. yeah. Um. So he identifies it and reveals that this is a device similar to a pocket portal, but with yeah. a destination known as the Prison of the Mad God. Ew. So, I think you we have to maybe go kill him in his realm. <laughs> you've gotten a free entry into his realm. Guys, we've got the next part of the dungeon. Uh, which kind of, you know, going back as to how you met this guy and, and remembering Sai, that is Sai's like life mission to find a way to permanently kill this country. Yeah, how fucked up would it be if and we, you like, now have a way. We did it and didn't you bring now, him. You now yeah. have a way to enter this guy's home turf and get rid of him for good. Maybe I... I mean... We could... So it's fine to put the back holding because it's only a, like a pow. The pocket poles we've had yes. previously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll just keep it in there for now. Keep it, keep it secret, keep it safe. Yeah. Because... Don't know if you particularly want this in, like, your one, because seems like it might go wrong. So it's better if it's, like, with everyone rather than just, like, in your house. Plus, is it, like, pocket... It's not technically a dimension, it's no, access. It's not. For all intents like, purposes, no. within dimensions it, it counts as a pocket shit portal, up. which you know you can put in bags of holding. Yeah, okay. uh, uh, yeah, a pocket portal is, like, then, a yeah, physical... We'll just, it's just a pocket yeah. portal I... looking all even and ominous because it goes to the abyss. That's really the only reason why it looks so different. Put it in the bag of holding. <laughs> yeah, we'll just yeah. put it in the bag of holding we'll let Jax know. Yeah, I'll... I'll... I'll see if my dad knows where Sai is. I might be able to mm -hmm. find out. If he's on this I plane, I can maybe. We can scry well, on him. Try. We can. Oh well, yeah, we can try, try scrying some on him. More. But if he's on a different <laughs> dimension, we can't scry on him. But I can like send a message to him, yeah. and there's a chance yeah. goes to him. But we'll see. Fuck it, I'll do that now. But yeah, why not? you can fucking let me know if I actually reached him and we'll just message him. Or we could end the session there on a cliffhanger and then Dutch can come back next session with his reply. I can DM Vincent to be like, hey, if you yeah, DM yeah. me right now, what would he be Because there's only nine minutes <laughs> yeah, left that's in fair. session anyway. In yeah. And then I'll, uh... yeah. yeah. Uh, I, already, I, I talked to Vincent and if this is a thing that you at some point during this campaign choose to do, he was... Sorry. Uh, <laughs> that's, why, that's why I'm giving you... McGuffin to like basically no. McGuffin to basically no. turn in whenever you feel. Oh, yeah. The what? message will basically be like, 
Uh, Malekith's returned. We've killed him again. Uh, we have, have got away into his domain. Okay. Cool. Let us know. Yeah, just type that out for me, and then I'll just send it over to Vincent, and I'll see cool. what he says, and then uh, I'll reveal the reply <laughs> next week. But yeah, thanks for playing. Yeah. It, was, it was good to, to be back. I hope you guys enjoyed a, a little, a, you know, that different. was real stressful for a minute. Something a little different. Yeah, when two of us oh. drop dead out the oh. gate, it's <laughs> a little bit worrying. And I also thought it was perma-dead for like a second. I was like, oh, oh. Hey, man. Oh. When this, this motherfucker twice said to me, anti-magic, I was like, oh, no. Yeah, oh, man. I mean, no. they don't have yeah, you much. You got anti-magic cling-wrapped. They, they don't have a lot of <laughs> HP, demi-liches, but they are fucking dangerous, man. Dutch finally found no. my weakness. Super, super high Maybe AC. Zero HP! Has abilities that can literally just insta one-shot you. Uh, yeah, it's the rough. Davian secured another final blow of a big boss. I should really start yeah. writing these down. <laughs> I write down who gets the final kill on every fight, it, so I do have a record. Okay. It's never me. Because I, I, I me either. When we were yeah, well, in, do when we were in the Shadowfell, so. the dragon. Guy damage, okay? I feel like early, early game you didn't get many, but this, this later, this later half. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This, you've this, been I think up. it's been fairly consistent. Um, but yeah, yeah I think I, you got, I think there's stuff you got stole from you, by like me and Jax. I, uh... But I'm also like f pretty consistently just dealing consistent damage, damage yeah. every time. Oh, like, sure, yeah. Sure. I uh, hope you guys and, enjoyed. Uh, what's I wanted to do a little, a little had a few. something a little different. Something, you know, because I know, you know, the next chunk of sessions is just going to be go find dragon, kill dragon. So I wanted to throw in, you know, I'm going to throw in more of this. Just kind of like random side quests you kind kind of can just do on the way there anyway that isn't too far off the beat path. Uh, to kind of exactly. switch it up. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my little, my little what the fuck happened in this weird fucking tower. So, yeah. I loved it. <laughs> random side quests. <laughs> Wait, does the entire up. illusion crumble around us once it's all uh, said and we'll done? We'll find that out next session. wasn't really affected by it. This room looked very much fucked up and dark and ominous. Yeah. Uh, we have to go back down this okay. green fuck up. Oh, because he was like doing like, the green. ritual in there, right? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, so you would have to go downstairs, but with that big blast of green energy leaving the tower. That might have been the spirits leaving. That, that was you know, the illusion and the spirits that were downstairs. But... The thing anchoring them and that illusion to this realm uh, was the Demi-Lich. So yeah. Thanks for playing, gamers. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, uh, we'll be back next Sunday, hopefully, if uh, everyone is available and all that. Bell, it was good to have you back. Ethan, it's good to have you back yeah. as well. Hopefully, uh, uh, hopefully you guys can consistently stick around and play well, and all I, that I won't. I won't be here for the next couple of weeks because I have family stuff. Oh, oh, oh fucking... for fuck's sake. Shoot. Sorry, besties. Having a family just not. couldn't be me. Uh, <laughs> You you just went from bestie to worstie, okay, oh, Belle? That's fucked up. Oh, that's that's fine. Just, uh, it's time to get towards worstie, bestie. <laughs> Whenever you are available, you know the yeah. spot at this table is plenty. So you know, you had a rough patch with me here. As long as like, you keep paying your fucking membership. So good. <laughs> so good. There's never gonna be it. Like, you know, don't be be afraid that we're gonna be like, you know, Belle, you're taking a piss. Now. As long as you keep gifting us <laughs> subscriptions to Bell Cheats or Cheat with Bell, sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Bell yeah. Cheats the backup just because Cheat with Bell. Yeah. yeah. I have both domains just in case. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Bell like Cheats. Thank you all so much for watching. Got <laughs> Chat. We'll see you guys next Don't Sunday. Org. Have a good one. Okay. Peace out. Oh no, it's a, it's for profit. All right, it's for profit. It is. Yeah, but profit. she's not paying business tax on that.